Throw yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Throw gang. Welcome to the 2023 Throwing Fits Year in Review Critics' Choice Award Spectacular Holiday Special. We are joined by James. You would think he lived in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the way we turned his crib into the office, Harris. Call him the wife of a Civil War soldier the way he stays holding that PS5. That's a letter joke. <laughs> Chuck Franco. He's not an embattled Ivy League president, but he stays on sabbatical. Sean Mervana, a.k.a. Chef. Don't ask him for an employee discount because if it don't make dollars, it don't make essence. Robert Kelly <laughs> and me, your anorexic functioning alcoholic on the sticks, Lauren Schlossman. Oh, right, we're Welcome this <laughs> to this special end of the year edition running of the boys with today's full episode available only on patreon.com slash throwing fits. Nailed it. Before we talk about the best brands, so trends, easy. Zuvies, biggest bozos, <laughs> and so much more. Let's get into some quick housekeeping. Jimmy, speak while I'm easy to these motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Uh, throwing fits, Clark's Wallabies dropping Thursdays, December 21st. What's the, Are we saying the price? On throwingfits.com. On throwingfits.com. Uh, hand stitch embroidered original art medallions in the toe box <laughs> done on fucking 120-year-old machines that were appropriated from uh, Robbie Land, <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania, from a, from a OG out. mill town. Yeah, the Amish don't use machines, though, so at least we weren't taking from a marginalized but, uh, they're community. Not, they're not electric. It's hand-cranked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know a couple other things that are hand-cranked. <laughs> Speaking fucking, of toe boxes. <laughs> you gentrified your, uh, your sewing machines, bro. <laughs> uh, as a note, Size down a half size or take your true size if, you know, the size down size is sold out. Don't fucking stress. Hopefully everybody gets their pairs, but there are limited quantities, so don't sleep. Super limited. Also, the fitties are open right now for voting. That's right. Day two today. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Okay. And results and analysis are happening early in the new year, but do not miss your chance to make your voice heard. Uh, the form will be on Instagram. Vote Stories. or die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, that was Diddy's campaign, yeah, so I probably well, shouldn't say that. Turn oh, turn up? Okay. Sorry. Chef, chef said turn me up in the headphones. <laughs> All right. Let's get into a quick little fit check and drink check for the best friends behind the paywall. Who would like to go first? I thought you were driving. Chuck. Oh, I was meant no. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I, can, I can make it quick. Uh, Let's go, Chuck. House Studios, Asics Gel 1130s. Uh, um, I was wearing those shoes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Someone's a little rusty. Uniqlo, Uniqlo, <laughs> Uniqlo socks, uh, 316, classic straight, crunchy jeans. Mm. Uh, add some bookworks to you. I like jazz. Uh, <laughs> and It's uh, the notes they don't play. Yeah. <laughs> Name five brass instruments. <laughs> Trumpet. Horn. <laughs> French horn? Of the French variety? Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, Booba. Uh, saxophone. 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 That's five. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's close. And what do you tar? So yeah, yeah, that's the, the fifth. Maestro. Um, <laughs> no bassoon? No love uh, for the bassoon? <laughs> the bassoon's goaded. The trombone. <laughs> the trombone. Buffoon? Uh, uh, Stussy uh, work jacket. And then um, contacts. <laughs> What's brain on your... Sunglasses. Brain dead sunglasses. What's on the booty, man? Uh, I think today, Uniqlo. Okay. Small chain? Small uh, chains. Is that new? New top? No. Mm. No, that top is old top, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old top. Uh, Jimbo? Uh, upstairs, I had key goes on my titties. How <laughs> the gotcha that's on my titties. Um, <laughs> these cards, take Nikki? TikTok away from this. <laughs> old it's Nikki, man. bro. It's Nikki. <laughs> Fuck the club up. <laughs> Fuck it. It really does sound like they're saying the F word, but it, I think they're saying fuck it. Uh, Kiko Nova or Asics Novalis on the dogs, then some, I don't know, off brand socks. Uh, Orly jeans, throwing fits. Times our legacy <laughs> workshop t shirt. Yeah, it's my bad. Uh, club of the year, maybe. Uh, then is that this year, yeah, it was Damn. this past summer. Damn, we should be on the list for that one, actually. <laughs> and then our legacy <laughs> workshop, Emporio Armani, and then a Trebian uh leather jacket and Dita sunglasses and Hanes on the cock and balls. Jeffrey, um, I got I'm wearing the brain dead Oakley factory uh chop not slap. Seeks. Um, I'm wearing <laughs> Uniqlo socks, uh, mantle P4 pants, the Ooh, wide fancy. leg ones. Ooh, someone um, reads BPSP. <laughs> I, like I, had, I, had these, I had these before they were on. Oh, 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 oh fucking oh, damn, uh, dude. Shots fired, fire, oh, bro. No. no. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the t shirt, I think it's just a white Uniqlo t shirt. Um, and this what is this fuzzy little number. This is an orally. <laughs> mm. uh, Did you cop in Japan? 
No, I I got this one on Essence like a couple years ago. I think. Mm. Yeah. Shout <laughs> out. Shout Shout out reading Blackbird's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, True. Actually, damn. Yeah. He beat the allegations um, real quick. Dude. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the jacket I was wearing here was the Venture and jacket that I think I've worn on this show like three times. Wait, now. what do you it's pick like, up in Japan? I feel like you you be wearing all that shit. Uh, no, I, I I did buy a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of button ups and okay. mm. uh, and I got some. You have a Japanese style body. Yeah, I mm. dude, I was like, I was I was having a lot Trim. of I was having a lot of fun out there. It was it was it was fucking dangerous for sure. <laughs> in terms um, of copying or just yeah, in terms fun? of in terms of copying because it's okay. like, dude, you just walk you, like you can't walk like 200 feet without seeing somewhere you want to go inside yeah. like you know did you have to hide um, your tats in the sauna uh we actually didn't even get to go All, <sighs> i was there with two other friends and they're both they're both way more tatted than i am Sick, and yeah it was cool. just just wasn't gonna work out but um uh, but uh I, I bought a lot of button-ups i bought some denim and yeah. uh i copped I copped. I copped some sick. I got. I got a lot of Margaret there. I went crazy at the Margaret Howell Miss Cafe. Miss Howell, if you're nasty. Um, yeah, wow. dude. Because they have. They have. She has like a dope cafe with like a little retail store attached to it, and everything is like. I mean, you know, the dollar to yen ratio right, exactly. right now is it goes, it so goes, freaking cheap. Yeah, it goes. It goes, it goes <laughs> so hard. Yeah, I, I, it's freaking. It's a, yeah. and I was one fifty. Yeah, I went with it. I went with this. I straight up went with like a mostly empty carry uh, checked in suitcase. Smart. I brought like four fits with me, and I. Came back oh, oh. like with that shit filled to the brim. Let's go, like, dude! Literally it's one uh, a kilo over yeah. the weight limit and everything. <laughs> um, it Thank was you. fucking crazy. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah. Um, please stop do- please. DMing me for Japan racks. Hit chef and Thank also you. donate to Chef's GoFundMe because <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. that sabbatical money might be running a yeah. little low in terms of the John copying. <laughs> what are you wearing, Budgie. Morris? Okay, I wore our legacy camions to James' beautiful apartment for this Thanks. wonderful afternoon with the fellows. I have on white socks. I am wearing APC collab jeans with J.W. Anderson. I'm wearing a Our Legacy Emporio Armani T. Have on an auto 958 captain's hat, rolling <laughs> on the wrist, wedding ring on the thingy, wifey on the pinky, Name chrome five on the other hand. Name five art galleries. <laughs> no. <laughs> auto 958. <laughs> uh, Robbie? Chuck, will you? Shall you? Please. Thank Bobby, you. Get on camera. Bro. Thank you. Um, I was wearing the 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 Le Mer Chinese loafers. Whoa! Loafers. Whoa! <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> Yo, he rebranded, but did not beat the Orientalism. His allegation. dogs are yeah. barking in Chinese, dude. Don't check my address. Um, <laughs> Nike Dry Fit socks. Drifties. Uh, just some Uniqlo. Torch pleated trousers, Uniqlo shirt, and then uh, the, the badge, the badge oh. like uh, a little fisherman sweater thing. And uh, yeah. What's your underwear? I didn't say mine. I'm wearing Supreme Hanes boxers. I think uh, regular Hanes. What's regular the Hanes. This is I stole from my dad. Nice. nice Shout out dude. Bob Kelly. Shout out Bob. Uh, yeah. Shout out Big Bob Shout Kelly, out. dude. Bob, Bob and Rob <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> baby. <laughs> Um, I'm Me also Kelly. wearing them on Italy belt. I did not mention that. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, oh, I'm wearing a trippy. Oh, no, I'm not actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, I have one more thing that I didn't wear, but uh, NN07 <laughs> jacket that James kindly gifted me, and I wear oh, yes. it all the time. It's like oh, a shacket. I sweet. didn't wear it in the fit pick, but it's very nice. I wear it often. Just not on camera. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had to get the badge in, so True. I exactly. it had You're too to, busy serving had cunt, to laying it. down like yeah. a fucking princess on yeah. James's roof. In your Chinese slippers. <laughs> <laughs> My dainty boy. My man was fucking laid up like it was a goddamn opium den, dude. <laughs> are, you, are you going big on on little dainty shoes? Next I, year? I, like I think so. I, I mean, I put it in the uh, gift guide to plug. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think that footwear might get smaller. I mean, we can get Small. into it with trends. But I like the, uh, you know, ballet footwear is really big ballet at women's boys. wear. Yeah. So I think, it might, I think it might transition over to men. Twinkle my um, toes and my bros and my hoes. Yeah. But yeah, they're the great. are putting the balls in ballet. <laughs> Please. Also, uh, thank you for everyone's contribution to the Dumper Gift Guide, the end of the year fucking newsletter that's not a newsletter and is a link dump, but not a link dump. That is live on Patreon.com for all the new patrons right now. 32 of the best gifts to buy yourself or someone you love in your life live on. What? Oh, Patreon.com. Patreon. 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 Thank you very much. Wow, okay. Your job is hard. Sorry. Uh, drink check. Split and G's. Goodness. Budweiser. Diet Pepsi. Modelo. Chilled Red. Robbie. Zinned Up. Uh, you had a... Yerba Mate also and the Bud. <laughs> I drink one every time here. Shout out That's South cool, America. Dude. Shout out Yerba Mate. <laughs> uh, Sponsor the pod. All right. Let's start with the first category. The only category that will not be in the fitties because this is the most personal of all. Everyone's personal as i said john of the year why don't we start with 
James. Okay. <laughs> um, Chef, you look like they were buffering. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not sure yet. I think I just went, I kept it uh, just like what I wore the most. And mm. it's got to be one is the leather jacket I was wearing upstairs from Trebian because I think like Leather Daddies was a pretty trend this year. And also, it's not on the trends, but I think like weird leather where it's <laughs> not just like black or brown, but it, what I have is kind of like a muddy navy. And like you have like a leather, uh, yellow, a yellow leather. A fucking Do green I, one? Yeah, I think so. I don't have um, yellow leather. I have a green one, though. I think, like, weird leather was, like, kind of a low-key trend that was good beyond just, like, <coughs> you know, That's vintage. everywhere, right? The Trebian line? The yes. jacket? Yes. Okay. Cool. Everywhere. Everywhere. So that was number three. Number two, Throwing Fits X oh. Alexi Workshop, because fucking dream project, dream come true. self But then the pants that I wore the most were, I believe, are these Aura Lee brown jeans, which is another, like trend that we're going to talk about is just weird denim, where it's not beyond just, like, raw or navy or black. Or so you wore your whole wash. fit. As your personal kind of accidentally, because I was like going through my shit. I was like, what do I So you know they're good? It's what I'm drawn to, right? Yeah. I wear this the most. I wear that jacket a lot. I mean, this uh workshop in Puerto on my knee. Uh John, it's a little too recent for it to make it, but mm. uh it's kind of like the what Yay is, album, right? What is the criteria for this? Is it really actually like what you've wore the most? Is that that the way you think of it? Is that's just what I thought about yeah. it? Because like I mean, I definitely bought some like showstopper pieces, but I probably, probably only wear them like, <laughs> like special event jobs. But, yeah. You know, but you only wear them like once or twice a year because you save them for like big events or whatever. I'm definitely um, affected by recency bias. Unlike you, who's smart about being well, like, yeah, let's back. give it some time to breathe. But well, these jeans fit so fucking nicely. They're, they're baggy without being like too baggy. The the <laughs> big fucking uh, block, the cock block mm -hmm. makes them <laughs> look the saggy without actually sagging. And uh, they're so good that, I don't know, they might inspire something that we do next year. But anyway. Ooh, spoiler alert. And I was like, yo, fuck it, brown denim. And then I got them and I was like, started wearing them all the time. You Hell can low-key yeah. have an accident in these. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. good color. That's that's the thing. They also cover up the skid marks. Um, <laughs> that's my personal John of the Year, the Aura Lee. So you're wearing your jeans without underwear and you're shitting your pants. Yes. <laughs> to be clear. Yes. That scenario. Shitting my pants. <laughs> uh, so the Aura Lee cool. hard twist brown denim. <laughs> Personal John of the Year. Damn, I'd like my denim with a hard twist, please, sir. <laughs> the twisted, the hard twisted yeah. jeans. Dude. You told me the denim's twisted. <laughs> uh, Chuck, what was your personal John of the Year, buddy? It was also what I wore the most. I got these three sixteen uh, classic straight jeans in January. Oh, a forever John. Raw I've denim is one. sick. Lawrence is wearing some, which is some a little wash, some yeah. some dark, validating dark uh, denim. But yeah, I've done it all in these. These have got, <laughs> these have gotten tight on Damn. me. They've gotten big on me. Ooh. They've uh, been. They've, we've been through it all. You hooped uh, them? I definitely washed them, dude. Dark twisted denim <laughs> might be up next. You bro. hooping them? No, nah, ah, that's the one thing I didn't do. Well, there's still <laughs> time, bro. You got hooping in raw denim. In the, <laughs> Can you, you got 15 days in the year. That's Damn, true. They put this man on the vet minimum. He's hooping in raw denim, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, chef, what was your personal John of the Year, bud? Uh, I, I, I think I have two. One, one would be these pants, actually. I, I got these back in like November, early November, and I feel like I've worn them almost every day since, I, since I've had them. Are? The mantle P4s. Oh, right. You caught them yeah. off the newsletter. Uh, I caught them off. I got them from Neighbor, and Thanks. I was stoked to see. I did see the Blackbird Spy Play thing, obviously, because I do read it, but I was excited to see him shout them out. It's got um, great taste. But yeah, out. no, these pants fucking rock. I did get them tailored a little bit to like just uh, to bring them up because yeah. I don't know. I I know we're like almost like cycling back to like smaller, tighter pants, but but I feel like this year was the year that I officially embraced the big pant. You big? How big did you go? I'm always crop though, right? Because you're a yeah, yeah. I, I don't like to let it like how like big did you go? Too much. What was your biggest pair? I'm curious. <laughs> I think this is the biggest pair, oh, but like, like yeah, like volume, like wise? volume wise, volume -wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, but yeah. So th these and then the other I'm not wearing today, but uh, I think I've worn them on the show before too. But my my Arpentor para boot like mm. boots that those are spicy, I wore bro. those. I've 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 honestly you guys would be disappointed. I I definitely fucked them up. They're they're very they're very cooked, but I've I wore them everywhere. I was you wearing them in chefs if you didn't saw yeah, I was wearing them in Japan every, every day. Dude, they're a very like um honestly a very comfortable walking shoe. Okay. And I feel like they go with almost every pair of pants that I have too. That's so, the beauty of yeah. the paraboot regardless um, of model, right? My guy likes everything. simplicity and versatility and comfort. Yeah, exactly. Which is why we like you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Um no, we don't like you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for clarifying. <laughs> I uh, freaking love you, man. Uh, yeah, we I freaking, I freaking love you, bro. I, I freaking, freaking love you, dude. Whoa. Yeah, freaking. No cursing. Some child, this is a kid-friendly, family-friendly program. Freaking. <laughs> love you, man. Love uh, you, man. <laughs> Roberto? Mine's definitely a recency bias one, too, but I really wanted those La Mer slippers for a while. The Chinese ones. The, yeah, <laughs> to be clear. Chinese slippers. <laughs> I really wanted the Chinese slippers. What did they, that's a hard C. What did they <laughs> rename them to? Uh, on line, they're called piped loafers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of awesome, yeah. Yo, Lamar's just fucking with us at this yeah. point, dude. Pipe. Pipe down the slippies. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other name was offensive, so we're going to change it out to the pipe, yeah. pipe down furries, yeah. dude. I'm pipe up, pipe down. Yeah, I wear a lot of just like kind of like next up with the trousers like these. <laughs> I wear a lot of just like I think like slouchy dress pants and I've been like cooking all my loafers and whatnot and like I said in the newsletter I don't think it's like a post loafer world yet but I think they're like a, there's something different that is like you can probably wear them in the same outfit that you wear your loafers for they're just like a little bit different mm-hmm um, I but think yeah. next year's the year the freak loafer. Like everyone's yeah, got their yeah, fucking like, I agree. rotation down. Oh, but yeah. it's like, hey, dudes, it's I time forgot. To get, time to get a little nasty yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah, time and to I, pipe down the loafers, <laughs> baby. They also have the like the the pipe in the middle, which is like it kind of looks like a <laughs> the tabby. The titular pipe, yeah. dude. If you look at it quickly, it kind of looks like a yeah. tabby. I'm not a tabby person. Tell us I don't how many think beers I to pipe down these loafers. <laughs> Loosen it them up a little like, bit. It's a little vaginal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you loosen it up, but, uh, <laughs> li- the, the ankle collar is literally like a fucking slit, dude. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like them. They're very comfortable, and yeah, like they the easily home. like fit into my wardrobe. Where just normally where I would wear loafers, I just li- wear them instead. So um, yeah, I was really happy to get them, and they kind of lived up to my uh, long desire for them which is always satisfying so when you like i like yeah delivers because sometimes like you overthink it and you, know? you think it's like yeah. the idea of in your mind no. is is more than what it is in reality but they lived up to it i think they're really comfortable um and i would definitely recommend them shout out to christoph um thank you robbie for sharing well, i what will was your John of the year, speaking. close out this category i think that so i don't want to go with i, I in terms of most worn, because I think that is a great criteria, the Stussy leather work pants, which I mm. said were my pants of the year in Love Blackbird them. Spy Plane. Again, shout out Jonah for the eighth time within the first 16, 17 minutes. Um, but yo, I acquired, speaking of Robbie's grails that you like, you know, build up in your mind over years and years, like the little hatreds of Daniel Plainview. Um, I got a gift from Ralph Lauren when we were being dressed for the oh. party. Uh, because I had the panic attack in the store, I did all my shopping online, and I finally got <laughs> the iconic double-breasted gold button polo Ralph Lauren blazer. The and Jeffrey I, Epstein twos. Yeah, it's truly. The, <laughs> yeah, dude. What they buried Epstein in. Yeah. Um, the pedo <laughs> ones. I've been I've been wanting that. I've been, ever since I can remember. I always wanted to be a pedophile. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> Uh, oh I've, been, I've wanted that for you know fucking damn near like 10 15 years and i finally got it it was phantom flow i never posted it uh <laughs> on my floor <laughs> and, 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 and i never tagged uh ralph but shout out to the fucking oh, tag ho- ralph shout out to the ho- <laughs> <laughs> at ralph lauren personal shout out, <laughs> shout out all my boys out there with horsepower whether on their body or in their mind uh that for me i've wanted that forever and i finally got it and it fucking lived up lived up to the hype i would have liked the cut of the sleeve to be a little bit more forgiving um um, Ralph has shrank, like shrank the sizes over the years, but that's uh, that's the one for me. So that in the pants. Oh, and sorry, <laughs> keep going, more. keep going. Emporio Armani, mm. our legacy workshop. Mm. The the turtleneck, dude. I feel like people. It's the leather. It's the fucking popovers. It's the fucking big pimp coat. Like the the fucking turtleneck that I think you can still buy yeah. right now, ladies and fucking gentlemen. Whoa, this turtleneck, fully pilled, bro. Hides a double chin. Turtlenecks are the next. Turtlenecks are and bond like. Turtlenecks are and like quarter zips and half zips are so useful in just hiding your fat fucking neck. <laughs> uh, it's like beards for guys. Clothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of some other beards for guys, dude. Yeah. Um, Beyonce. Hey. <laughs> hey yo. Uh, yeah. Gay. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Gay Z. <laughs> um, the rumors are true. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Speaking of Empore Armani, our legacy workshop, yeah. let's get into what was unfortunately, I think, in our opinion, the weakest oh. category. We struggled to put together collaboration of the year in terms of what was going to make it onto the Fiddies voting forum. Um, I don't know if that is symptomatic of like menswear in general, because collaborations we do see as a crutch, but with that said, like there's usually better options. I think that uh Whatever was bottleneck during pandemic came out in a fucking the damn burst in 22. <laughs> and then people are just kind of like, everyone busted their nut in 22. And Plug now that 20, dike. Now everyone piped down uh, their loafers in 2022. And now in 2023, <laughs> you don't really, I don't know. It just felt like it was, it was a shitty year in general for all culture, except for movies, maybe. I would say, though, we've also like we've ragged so many times about just like meaningless collabs sure. where there's nothing in it. So I think the fact that it was a weak year for collabs is like maybe a good thing. Like, True. do you think the noise is like being cut down where I hope there's less like obvious cash grabs? Yeah. yeah. And I think that the collabs where it's like there please. is like, you know, some 
connective tissue will naturally happen anyway. But I think the year that I, or the fact that it was a week here in clouds might be a good thing. Mm. Honestly, uh, the, the can I go up from here, dude? The pie glass is half full. Good yeah. perspective. Amen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Robbie splitting cheese with the optimism. So, so, so with that uh, hard hitting analysis from Robbie uh, leading us into this category, James, what was your collaboration of the year? And I feel like I know. Uh, uh, besides throwing fits times. It's X, by the way. Throwing I've, fits I've X. stopped saying it. I've learned. Good. Dude. Throwing fits X, our Legace workshop. Uh, when we fucking sold out of these t-shirts, blowing <laughs> everyone's dicks off from <laughs> Stockholm to Milano, where we were, to Brooklyn. Yeah, we piped down the game for show. <laughs> um, I mean, shout out to... Okay, <laughs> let, me, let, me, the list. Let, me, let me do Kind of piped it up. Pipe it up. Yeah. Well, uh, boy, yeah, whatever's okay. the better one. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's had a lot of collabs. I believe they were celebrating their f- like hundred and. 29th year or some shit of like the 501 <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, Shout born out raised, the prospectors. Born, born and raised Levi's, yeah. R.I.P. Sponto. That I think kind of was overshadowed by the tragic uh, death, untimely death of him. But uh, it was fucking hard. And I think like the marketing <laughs> around it was so sick. But I think collaboration of the year has collaboration has got to be collaboration our legacy, workshop X Emporio Armani, which like, and also to get like the insider. Um, how to just like breakdown of how it all went down, how it took so long, right. how it was like a dream project for Yoakum and that, that whole team. Shot the fellas. Like the fucking photos. Stock homies. And that was the type of shit where like <clears throat> shit came, loved it, bought some shit. That came, loved it, went back and yeah. like bought more shit because it was like. Uh, Please, sir, may I have some more John's? Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more Milano stock homies? <laughs> um, so that's my runaway. And and it's what Workshop does with like Stussy where they take like dead stock fabrics mm-hmm. and make our Legace garments. They recreate uh they take they take legache gar legache textiles and recreate vintage armani johns from like old fucking reference photos from like the 90s and 80s um yeah shit bang my man's back. fucking spitting right now dog uh chef what was your collaboration the of the year? Uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to agree and i mean like i feel Thanks. like y- you guys will be able to <laughs> you guys will <laughs> you did the collab <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, that was all me, dude. This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy Shaw club. Yeah, no, I mean, I think you, you guys another. can speak to the clothes. <laughs> you guys can speak to the clothes better than I can. Obviously, they're Wait, you're they're, they're, they're fucking support? sick. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> fucking poor, bro. Uh, <laughs> freaking poor, dude. Freaking poor. Freaking no, but I loved the uh, I loved the all the promo around the R Legacy and Emporio yeah. Armani oh. stuff. Like what was the, the doctor's name. Martin Shkreli? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where does he at least... You know where he lives, though. He lives... Well, I'm not going to give his fucking address. He no, lives, no, I mean with the town. He's like an OG. He did like OG Margella and Purple Magazine before that French pervert took it over. <laughs> Olivier Zong. Yeah. Zong. Okay. He lives, he, and he lives upstate. And like, he's so fired. <laughs> pedophiles, dude. Yeah. He's so, my man is double breasted. He's uh, <laughs> he's so fired that the whole fucking stock homies flew to like and then drove to upstate New York just to shoot with him. Yeah, it was such a priv a priv to shoot with the ledge. It's a fucking priv, man. Um, all right, fucking privilege. Chuck, do you have a collaboration of the year? Um, a, a recent. I, I'm gonna get my top three. A recent one. Oh, yeah, uh, Black Sock and Weber, Rocky Mountain Featherbed. Oh mm. yeah, that people have known about Rocky Mountain Featherbed forever, right? I, mean, I, have, I have not. Okay, and I don't That's think it's a Moy Four Pins classic. Dude. I don't think no. one of those jackets would fit me. I did the did some math, but I would get one <laughs> if they did. Uh, I think the I know the Stussy Nike footwear <laughs> usually sits. Even though I think it's good, but I think the clothes is yeah. really underrated. We talked about that. We like there was like a together. mesh yeah, yeah. long sleeve top they did with like the old red and gray Nike tag at the bottom that I thought was fire. Oh, Stussy mesh sold out. Uh, Real but slutty. Another one that I think was kind of slept on was a uh, 18 East Earth Earth Studies. Oh yeah, sure. I like the fleece with like the pocket that's like sideways. Like mm. I just imagine like. I'd be putting like snacks in it, mm. like <laughs> it feel like berries, Some good old raisin and peanuts, berries and like yeah. trail mix and shit. I really like that. Really like just, ra- just raw dogging out of the pocket. Yeah, yeah. I'm still, mm-hmm. I'm still discovering yeah. new pockets on the pants I have. Like, yeah, f- a year later, those are sick. Love pockets. Uh, Robbie, you have a collab of the year after your uh, big picture analysis. Yeah, I, I mean, I normally like to stick to like things that I've actually like worn, but I don't think I bought many of these. Mm. Um, but I did get to play around with the Carhartt 
Whip Sakai, um, and it was really good. You're I playing liked dress it. up, Do yeah. You roles in <laughs> office, drive? yeah. Just like, what was on, your favorite piece? Because I, I could see was, myself in this. They had like some rib knit, honestly, kind of similar to what I'm wearing now, like a rib knit, almost like fisherman mock neck. Uh, that was really pleasure. cool. I'm a sucker for stuff like you that. Neck, bro? Um, that was like definitely a hype. He's a sucker collab, for a ribbed fisherman, dude. But I think it kind of lived delivered. up it's to delivered. it. I think I think it yeah. delivered. Um, and I thought the pieces were good. Like they weren't too loud. It was like it felt like it made sense. Um, I think they're running it back next year so i'll be curious Ooh. to see if it's like they can deliver like twice right. on it yeah, love that collab hip. fashion motherfuckers yeah the love big i've seen those big parkas uh <laughs> from that blues. you definitely see it around it was expensive but um yeah i liked that i mean i don't own any of it uh but getting to see that in person i thought it was good but yeah i mean not a huge year for collabs for me personally kids no. on youtube thumbnail carhartt whip back marnie collab sakai collab awake new york collab I believe those were all whip. The espresso Project. machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the espresso machine. That's a lot of collabs. Oh, yeah. The yeah. espresso machine. Um, this is easy for me because uh, it's the only collab that I spent my fucking not hard-earned money on. Our Legacy Workshop, X, and Porteo Armani. I went back for seconds like Jim. Uh, I spent a ton of my bread on that and i think that for me a guy who never buys anything yeah. the stingiest motherfucker on sesame street it was crazy that is the cosign it was crazy to see yeah. you spend money from the donnie brasco leather Yourself. to the fucking indiana jones nazi shades to turtlenecks oh. and crew necks <laughs> and tees i basically bought everything yeah and it all fucking slapped i think that if i was a betting man which i'm not because i have an addictive personality um same that's big yeah. of you that's big um of you, bro. i would that all of my monies that I haven't spent on this collab, that this will be the collab of the year, I think, without a doubt. Um, and yeah. not just because the category is weak. I think that would win any year, especially with our guy. But um, keep it locked. Results coming early in the new year. Moving on to the big one in terms of John's brand of the year. Not to, again, be Debbie Downers. This one for me, I'm like, is there even really a top five? I think there might be like a top three. Maybe a top two, very top heavy category. With that said, let's throw what? it to Chef. Top heavy category. <clears throat> okay. Just let me. Yeah. I'm letting you cook. Let me drive, bro. <laughs> let, this, you uh, <laughs> let me crash. Let's start a Chef. What was your brand of the year, buddy? Uh, this is another one where I don't have any of the clothes. I feel like <laughs> I, I got to preface that I didn't buy anything this year because I knew I was what? going to Japan and uh, I was like, I'm gonna cop all my Chef shit. Still shopping there. in Japan. Is Martin so, your brand of the year? Uh, no, I'm, I was actually gonna say Bottega because Woo! I freaking the clothes are fucking awesome <laughs> and I love. <laughs> No, but once again, I'm I'm, I'm judging most Where's the of these. Freaking coming from? I don't. I, is it from, you watch a movie where they say freaking or something? No, nah, I, I feel like it's like a Bay Area. Like I always say, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Everybody got uh, freaking choices. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yes. Um. But yeah, no, I think the Bo Bottega clothes are crazy. I loved all of the like the fake oh, paparazzi. Like, oh, you like the, the Rocky shit? I thought the Rocky shit was cool, man. I thought he looked cool as hell. And, you know, Lord, he's, he's, he's also because he's just doing his own thing. Nobody knows what the fuck that guy's doing except being a, a father, hopefully a good one. <laughs> but like, I saw uh, But like, yeah. Over a year ago, he tweeted that Don't Be Dumb, the album was done and it is not here. It's yeah. Been over I, nobody wants new music from him, no, though. That's, I, that's I, that's I, don't, I don't fucking keep care. Chilled. Yeah. You can keep, you can keep the record, keep that, but keep like, that, keep, keep getting the fits off. You know what I mean? And yeah, so Bottega for me, I think. Mm, okay. there. Uh, James, you have a brand of the year? Oh, man. Do I have a brand of the year? Oh, real quick. <laughs> collab of the year, which he wouldn't let me put on. Yo, you mentioned our collab with OL. Uh, Metal Fits was a banger, dude. In terms what do you mean of like, I wouldn't let you put on? I was like, that, it's going to be embarrassing when if that gets last Put that shit point. on. Dad yeah, wouldn't let me. On. Yo, shout out fucking Cole. Oh, Hype well, 100 or, uh, <laughs> winner, I guess. I don't know what you're called. But I did put... Yeah. Okay, now you're making it sound like I'm shitting on Metalwood. No, no I no, put no. Metalwood Studio on brand of the year. No, and no, I no, think no. that they absolutely deserve on. a place next to fucking, who we got here? Oh, Ame, Leon, Dore, <laughs> J -j -j Jound. Metalwood's right there with them. Uh, I think it's going to be obvious for me. It's yep. our legacy. Okay. Uh, but I also want to shout out Lueve. I think that mm, in, yeah. in this week's episode, I can spoil it now, with Jacob Gallagher, very fun episode, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Was, how fun? For yeah. sure. It was fun. Did you listen to it? Uh, not yet. Did you listen to it? Wait, Jacob? Yeah. Uh, I listened to the first 45 minutes, okay. but then I had to go somewhere. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to fucking shut it off. Uh, he <laughs> I about couldn't, how, like, Larry got too fucked up. It was it was too hard. 
Wait, for real? No, I'm joking. Oh, Jesus no, of course Christ. not. What he the hell, man? A panic attack. Can you <laughs> no, tell me no, on blast noise no. in front of everybody? You sound great. I, Thanks, I, dude. I, dude, I held it down for you in the group chat, man. <laughs> well, now it feels like you're just fucking <laughs> defending me that, and I don't deserve it. No, you deserve it. Right, thanks, bro. Okay. You deserve to be defended. Because <laughs> you saying. needed it. Because I, I freaking love you, bro. <laughs> thanks, brother. I love you, too. Everybody got freaking choices. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Jacob Gallagher was saying that for 2024, it feels like uh, what's the next, like, Market shift is going to be like brands having fun in like a not like cheesy, cringy way. Right. And I think that JW Anderson has doing that, been doing that with Lueve, and they kind of came fucking freaking out of nowhere to become like the most like the hottest like f- capital F fashion brand. Yeah. So per shout them all out. the real lists. And then I'm trying to think because uh, I've fucking lost all my notes. Um, this is all of them right here. So I know, but I had one that like wasn't on here. I don't know. I mean, oh. Stussy, Stussy, Stussy. Uh, be up there too. But for me, it's just going to be OL. Uh, but it, just for, through like consistency. And mm-hmm. like excited, doing exciting things, but uh, no one really kind of fucking ran away with it. I feel like this year. No, that again, that's what I'm saying. Like I think that you can maybe do like a a one, a two, a three, but and then it's kind of like a big fall off. Oh, and uh, Cort- Cortez, 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 is that how you say? Shout Clint, man, London, no London, London. <laughs> Yo, and it's funny because L U N D U. After we we lock this list um, in Google um, surveys, uh, Cortez Supreme. Well, coming out. Yet. well, but I'm saying it's like that's a huge cosign. Whether yeah, it comes yeah. out before that's the end of the year, that's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. it's oh, confirmed. I missed that. Supreme <laughs> rules the world. He's, he's been in there. <laughs> that is the poster. Yeah, with Alcatraz. I totally miss that. He's yeah. been in there. You don't follow shit, complex think, style the, uh, on Instagram. What is it? No. I said complex style on <laughs> no. Instagram. He's been in like supreme imagery and like marketing. Yeah, shit. so there's definitely a fucking relation there. Connective tissue, as we say in the biz. Uh, Chuck, your brand of the year. Uh, f- the usual suspects. Go for like a small brand, I would say Manresa. I like the button up that they do. I have like four of them. Uh, and then big brand. Honestly, I I love. I, it's been like five years running. I feel like, but Stussy is. Yep. I love being able to just go on a website and buy something. <laughs> <laughs> a luxury <laughs> in twenty. Which is yeah. I mean, I don't want to take my to, money. I don't want to have to set an alarm for shit. Like I got that that the jacket I wore today is like probably one of my favorite but things. But Stussy stuff does sell out. It does, but yeah. that, that was just like sitting there for a while. And I was like, but nobody like wants this. All fleeces and shit that, like, you know, if you're a mark, you want mm, that, but right. like leather pants and work jackets. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you that know. fucking mountain head, the mountain head work, Stussy tough. The mountain headwear collab was also very good. That's, oh, I, I, thank you. Big brain, big brain, fucking put that on collab of the year. Mountain yeah. hardware, Stussy was, I think, a highlight from one of the best brands in the game. And I think is going to also, hopefully, I would hope, uh, rank very highly in terms of collab. Did of I say year. headwear? Yeah. I, that was the that was the Guinness. <laughs> You're being a head ass right now. Damn, the Jew was splitting your brain. Uh, Robbie, what was your brand of the year? Splitting brains. I think um, in terms of like where the year started and where it ended, I'm gonna go Martine Rose. Mm. I think that her mm. name getting thrown yeah, around winner. in yeah that as well. Um, her name getting thrown around in the like LV job at the start of the sure. year, and then also once for all was announced, a lot of fashion people were like, wait, you know, we talked about this, should have given it to a Wales Bonner Martine Rose. Mm-hmm. I think that gave her some cred. Um, I do think that sh- uh, she. A little overlooked because people do group her with uh Wills Bonner, even though they're pretty different, they're both just British and, just and, British, British and black brown, women. exactly. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But, oh, also, people were also trying to be like, um, talking about when Martine was working for Demna, that became a weird well, narrative that, too. Which is, like, I mean, I right now, there are fair. rumors that yeah. if uh, Balenciaga gives Demna the boot, because she, she nice. worked the at Balenciaga, boot. yeah, <laughs> she, boot. she worked at Balenciaga under Demna. Um, I on per- menswear specifically, yeah, and I personally think that would be fantastic. I think they should get Demna out of there and put her in, <laughs> uh, but she also had. Good collabs, uh, Nike Stussy, Stussy and Clark. Right? Yeah, the Stussy the collab was great. The, uh, Nike, the Nike shocks are. Yeah, I, we'll, we'll I was going to say in the sneaker. I want to give James credit too because I do see those around town, uh, and they <laughs> they look great. I I I'm think never they're wrong. great. <laughs> I think James was. You should start saying that. I'm never wrong. I'm, I'm, never, also, I'm never wrong. What was it at the loop? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you say it louder, it might be true. Was it after the Luar show when both you and Jesse were wearing yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Jesse looked fantastic. Well, in Jesse too. is my fucking goat of like yeah, guy yeah. that you need to be like not a, like not out there, but like a behind the scenes guy. Absolutely. That I, anytime I see him, just like bro, yeah, I could do that. Jesse took one look yeah. at James and had to hit him with the gay. Yeah. <laughs> but that was also that like happen. it took something that like the shocks <laughs> weren't in the zeitgeist at all. So it was kind of right. taking something that wasn't like currently in it, it wasn't low hanging fruit to do a collab with and kind of made it interesting. So. I I thought that was a Dude. smash. But then the Stussy still like the driving gloves? Yeah, the, were the, gloves, sick. the gloves are sick. She also did a Stella Yo, collab, which Stella Artois gloves. does sick Palace. collabs. Palace Stella, they did yeah. they did Luar. Stella! Didn't, didn't, 
<laughs> Lou R did a Stella collab also, Literary right? Reference. Um, Stella's collabs are low key really good. I don't know who is running that. with Alex Delaney. <laughs> He just drives. I think I'm becoming a glovesman. You you can't play on your phone with these. Um, Um, But yeah, I think... I also, I don't think it was on the list, but Mew Mew Men's, I mean, Mew Mew had a big year with women's, but the fact that it's coming men's, back. It's like, it's more unisex and you just buy a size 58. It's, it's, yeah, it's relatively, but I think just... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that seems to be what Mucia is um, putting some juice into. Maybe. So I think Put that, that was maybe on. slept on. But I, I'm going to go Martin. Wait, it wasn't Rose. slept on. It was the most popular brand on Google for, for like Gen Z motherfuckers. Yeah, but for like Not women's. Heaven? But the fact that they're bringing men's no, back, damn. I think, um, I mean, still definitely one to watch. I think if you're like a dude who's looking for yeah. like, Mew Mew. wants to be a little more tasteful. But I mean, it hasn't been around for Very like expensive. 10 years. So yeah. She just did the the Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keem merch, Rose. Yeah, Rose. Yeah, yeah, which honestly yep. look pretty good. Um, and they're yeah. called the Hillbillies, Chef. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna smoking call them on that. that cat piss. But yeah, I'm I'm going Martin Rose. I think uh, nice. I would love her for Balenciaga. I think they should. You own do any? That. Looking Am amazing. I, do you brother? own any Martin Rose yourself? I do not. No, it's a just a voyeuristic it's relationship. Very expensive. Uh, I'll wrap this up uh, quickly. Uh, it's Stussy, I think. Um, for you, with, without a yeah, without a fucking doubt. For Larry, are you ending every category with you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because oh, be then nice. I, I end and I just go right into the next must category. Would be nice. That's really smart. Yeah, right? I think it's just efficient. So. I'm not trying to like hog any spotlight here, fucking yelling guy. Everyone gets the last word. <laughs> For some reason, you saying play with your phone is the <laughs> that's what that's, 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 that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm playing on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Tell Yo, I will run. say. My man's on level eight thousand of Candy Crush. <laughs> any one of those, uh, like games, your mother-in-law. <laughs> any one of those games where it's like you're like seven army guys just shooting zombies, <laughs> dog. Yeah, bro. Those, they those, look I sick. I will watch those ads to the to every the very every, every, every single time. Why is it over? I need to yeah, watch it. I will rewatch it. Right, I made the mistake of downloading one of those What's fucking revealed? games. No, dude, that, that's not even part of the game. It's a fucking scam. Uh, you can't do that shit. Yeah, and you wait, have to what download. Can you do? Uh, it's like it's, I downloaded it's one like, it's like an actual, coming. <laughs> it's like <laughs> excuse me yeah, I, they, oh well they came I yeah. bet they were uh, <laughs> no nah, fucking you have to get through like halfway like halfway through the game you gotta download like 10 gigs worth of things and you gotta pay packing. for a bunch of you shit you know the yeah. fact checking shit on Twitter yeah yeah people yeah people started yeah. adding to those ads like this is this not this is not what, what the game, game is, is. Oh, really? no dude yeah. I like truly I would watch those <laughs> ads every single like and then Wait, I, they're I so love, sick when they started getting crazy with like the like times two divided by three I'm like oh fuck there's another level to no, this shit. This they, is crazy. They are coming. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're telling me that they are coming, which can be purchased in the App Store for yeah. 3 dollars doesn't have PS5 graphics? What I the fuck? Man, I think this app, might be app, like the app only of the year. game I ever... App of the year. <laughs> yeah. app of the year. They're coming. Oh, this... Yeah. Bro. yeah, look at this. This looks like shit, yeah. bro. What Yo. the fuck? Oh, this sucks so much dick, dude. That, that what is the all hell? Push. I oh, wish oh, you guys oh, could oh, see no, how guys. shitty this is right now. This I mean, if you can bad, bro. zoom in. Zoom in. But I, yeah, this one sucks. But also, like, <laughs> it's so. Oh wait, plus thirty. The there's like four minutes of ads between the ads. <laughs> like, these. They're such fucking scams. But it looks, it looks, scam. it looks so fun. But the ads dude. are so I, fire. Yeah, the ads are so good. That's dude. That's uh, how they get just you. Killing dude. zombies with your boys. Yeah. Yeah. We get their plus twenty five boys. Oh, they they got my ass for real. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe glove, it's, glove, maybe glove it's something break. special that you can work on at your new gig next year. Glove on. Uh, <laughs> all right. From from app of the year. Are you can wear gloves the whole time. It kind of yeah. looks dope, dude. <laughs> I feel like fucking David Finch is the killer. <laughs> Trash is movie whoa, of the year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we wait to get to the I category? <laughs> I like it's uh, just mid. <laughs> Robbie, you have no mic. Do you want right. to say you want to? Is, yeah. is that good of a joke? Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving on hammer. from app of the year to sneaker of the year. So oh. we turn to the sneaker shaman himself, oh, yeah. Carlos Franco. What was your sneaker of the year? Please hit us with all of the honorable mentions. Can you okay. So the the honorable, <laughs> the honorable mentions. One in my face. Uh, the Jesus on- Christ, dude. Let him. The honorable mentions. <laughs> swipe. Swipe. Oh. Uh, Thank you. Uh, for me, uh, I'm going to start with two like kind of retros. Uh, the New Balance 998 Concepts C notes, they sold out. They sold out in uh, 2013, but they did the 10 year anniversary yes. retro, Damn. and they were sitting, which is sick. I think because that's a six shoe. You uh, I didn't, but I'm I probably going to because okay. the prices aren't crazy now. Uh, the Jordan Four SB Pine Green. You know, I'm a, oh, I'm a yeah. kick. I'm a kick push kind of guy. <laughs> I th- the Jordan Four is one of the greatest silhouettes of all time, and, and that's a big deal with just like Nike SB Jordan, right? Like, but but it together. wasn't. But it wasn't just like slapping the logo on it. It was like the heel tab was rubber. There was like better cushioning for you know 
ollies and kickflips yeah. and all that shit. Yeah. And, twists, and on top of all that, gum sole, sucker for a gum sole, Ooh. pine green, best color in the world. <laughs> so I really love that. Pantone those. of the but year. The, but my favorite shoe of the year was honestly uh, a new silhouette and a new color. Ooh. And uh, I think... His first shoe was Action Bronson's New Balance, oh, which I thought the colors were crazy, but to me it was like it was just the baklava. It was just crazy enough to work. Yeah, and hey, this is just crazy enough to work. Yeah, <laughs> hit it, <laughs> hit it baklava. <laughs> yeah, so those are my hit that's, it, Bronsolino. That, that's it from the the sneaker uh, head, headquarters. I like nice. that. Uh, James, what was your sneaker of the year? Um, I wanted to shout out the Martine Rose Nike Shocks. Those are fucking gassy like me after eating a bunch of cabbage mm -hmm. um the nike air humara not on best yes. sneaker of the year but yeah that was a fucking fire gr shoe that like was either it's like gorpy but not it's like techie but not mm -hmm. um but oh the dime asics were gas uh i'm really 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 liking these asics novaluses i think that they're probably oh. they're not on the list but i think that because we have a lot of asics um do we have a lot of asics we have mm -hmm. asics collabs no i think we have a few uh, but my sneaker of the year are the Mischief Big Red Boots. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, they are the... What the fuck is it? Oh, the Oakley Factory Team Chop Saw Mules. Mm -hmm. where Based on wear, for sure. Bro. I love the colors they're doing, where they're like muddy, but still kind of vibrant. They're so fucking comfortable. They're like chonky, but not. They're techy, but not. Exactly what I like about the Air Humaras. Um, and they just interact so well with my fucking pantalones. They say you can't be everything to everyone, but just peep the chop, not slop, saw. Shout mules. out Kyle and Aliyah. Yeah. Uh, chef, what were your sneaker, sneakers, sneaker of the year? Sneaker of the year for me is probably also the o Oakley factory chop saws. I just got the mine. Full, the full joints. The not full, the yeah, not the mules, the full, <laughs> the full sneaker, because honestly they're comfortable as hell. I walked like seven miles yesterday in them. Just, the it, was, doing? it was a beautiful day. It was I, oh, okay. <laughs> walking around. <laughs> yeah. Is something freaking yeah. wrong with you, bro? <laughs> no, I just, freaking get my steps in. Don't you, yeah, just a nice little jaunt. You know? That's, not, yeah. that's a, not a little jaunt. That's stumble, a, big jaunt. a jaunt in the jaunt. Stumble, that's stumble, a big jaunt. Into, stumble into some fun. Um, <laughs> actually, though, no, stumble I went to, uh, I was in, I was in, <laughs> I love that. I was in Chinatown. I was in Chinatown oh, with Chris with, with a, <laughs> and you didn't hit me up, I, dude. Oh, fuck? I'm sorry. Were you white Chinatown or uh, no, real uh, real Chinatown. We went oh. to Tasty Hand oh, Pulled Tasty Hand Pulled Noodle, Ooh. you know, uh, on Doyers, <laughs> and they just opened. Later. They just opened one of those new uh, <laughs> Tasty. Or, they, there's a new uh, Japanese like claw machine place that just opened up like this week uh, called Are you Anim Anime one of those, like O o a waifu, waifu? like a motherfucking no, but I just I had a lot of fun Japan at those. File. I had a lot of fun at those when we went to Japan, and I was right. surprised to see what one the here. fuck but is anyway, a claw yeah. like a claw machine, like a straight up, like never seen like Toy Story, <laughs> like a claw machine, bro. Wait, yeah. it's a whole building full of claw machines. Yeah, truly. And you can like, win an iPhone, or, like, uh, like, claw an iPhone. Nah, uh, Jesse did win a little stuffed, uh, a little stuffed toy okay, that nice. she was super stoked about. But uh, but in case, he was nice on the sticks. Dude. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, freaking anyway. Yeah, so I think that's my that's that was a real one. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. You got my ass. You, you got my ass. You got your own ass, dog. Um, you got claw. Yeah, that's my that's my secret of the year. Besides that, I feel like all <laughs> I've been well wearing. With, they go well with the type of pants that you like. That, yeah, they do go that. well with the type of pants that I like. Besides that, I've all I I, I do have a pair of the Wales Bonners Sambas that Which I ones? like. The silvers. Uh, Silver no, silvers? I have I have the actually they're not even Sambas. They're the blue Japan model. Um, my motherfucking otaku uh, ass, my wife, motherfucker. Listen, like, they're they're the ones. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Hey, Bruh. What, what, what's that word? That's mean? what I was doing. That's what I was doing last year. I feel like it was like MFs saying MFs and uh, bruh. What's that word? Um, Gajin. <laughs> That's a Tokyo Drift reference. Yeah, but uh, I, I I liked those. But here's the thing: I mine are too small, so I can't oh. I can't wear them all the time. But I do like them. They also go well with a lot of the pants that I have. But yeah, that's Just it. Watch, are too small. I don't know. I'm not. I I've been wearing the freaking the pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> you're built. You're freaking build, bro. Freaking freak build, bro. I, feel, I don't think this is a new thing. I just yeah, yeah. yeah it is. I'm no. pretty sure it's a freaking it new thing. It is, bro. Nah, it's because um, we don't spend enough time together. Guys. That is That's true. Uh, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stop podcasting. And go hang out. Yeah. What time is it? Uh, okay, yeah. Robbie was your sneaker yeah. of the year. Um, when it comes to sneakers, I'm definitely a GRs man. Mm -hmm. I kind of like how the Samba won last year. Obviously, I'm biased in that They're regard. But the, the fact list. GR, I know. But the fact that a GR sneaker won, I thought was cool. So, um, I my sneaker of the year, and I'm probably the least sneaker person here, but I want to shout out the new balance uh 
1906R. Mm, I think yes. it had a big year, and yeah. I have to give New Balance some credit about they obviously realized they had to pivot away from kind of the 990 yeah. complex of like that was, you know, dominating the sneakers mm-hmm. for a little bit. Uh, and I think they were successful with it. I think the CDG and the Orly yeah. ones Ooh. were both oh, Orly, very nice. The very good. Um, and they pivoted year? into yeah. doing collabs that I think have been good. They did like a Ghani collab, uh, some oh, other ones. Uh, oh, so yeah. I think that Shout GR. Me cunts. That's just another one where you can just <laughs> go. I feel like Jamaican. this came up in a boy. Walk on me cunts, man. This came up in a. I think this came oh, up well, in a boys only either. where it was just like you can go onto the New Balance website and just like buy like the 1906R. Just yeah. the GR ones look great. It's not crazy mm-hmm. colorways. It's just like you know, kind of minimalist. Bro, every time Wag I think I'm me out, brothers. New Balance pulls me yeah, back. Yeah, and in. I think they deserve some credit for that because it's not. I think that's what Adidas is gonna have to grapple with. Is like once this Samba hype cools down, you know, the Especials are like basically <clears> the same <throat> shoe indoors. There's, but there's, I mean, like yeah. keep it fucking locks. The pivot next from up, a Samba up. to next something up. like that is a little bit different than I think going from a 990 to a 1906R, which is a very different silhouette. Nice so. <laughs> nice cock. I've definitely yeah, never bro. been a New Balance defender, but I think right. uh, I want to give them credit there. I think the 1906R is a great sneaker where if you're not looking to ball out on a collab and you just want to go to a website like Chuck said and buy something, yeah. like the GR colorways of that look great, and I think it's a good silhouette. So 1906R for me. Let me throw flowers to NB real quick as well. The 860 V2. I actually prefer yeah. that to I, the, I, yeah, to the 1906R. R, yeah. Yeah. What um, does the R stand for? <laughs> retarded reg- re- regarded no, that's freaking um, retard <laughs> uh this is easy for me because okay. you see the fucking cap the right. auto 958 a6 flex skis all you fuck fucking them? day would dude. you fuck with them as hard as you do if they weren't named the flex skis <laughs> no not at all that's just icing on the fucking I mean, cake that's, ski yeah. on the cake um, ski uh no i mean i just love uh blowcore in our world that wave might have crested a bit to uh roberto's dismay but right. i think that what's interesting about this shoe and it's a testament to kiko's genius um is that this is a blowcore <clears throat> sneaker on fucking steroids it's kind of skate it's definitely kind of futsal. It's got that fucking oh, yeah. big old logo tongue. I think it's a hitter. I have the silver pair. I wish I had the green pair. Mm. And uh, yeah, there was a black you know, and purple pair that dropped. That was fucking crazy. I think those were sitting, which is a shame. But for me, that's my sneaker of the year. I also want to say the best thing that Big Scorp did this year, besides fucking oh. letting us down and everything else, I legitimately like and had to fight to get him on here the Drake Nike knocked a glide. Dude, is it yeah. 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 That's a good shoe. That's a good shoe. You did not have to fight shoe. to get that on. All of the knock- oh, I had a scratch and claw <laughs> like Jesse. Forever <laughs> inch. All, For of inch. The, all of the knock to shit. Field. All of the knock to shit is pretty is pretty sick. Okay, uh, pretty bro, sick. Dude. Freaking rain it in, bro. That's not <laughs> relax. I like blowing, it. My but, man's freaking glazing over I saw, My man's freaking blowing bubbles. I saw that. I saw that video of like the fucking the flying swirl shit. Yeah, that was cool. That was sick, dude. The flex ski. I like the upper, but the sole it looks like fucking it's like a skate looks like, like a, a freaking shoe. it looks like a British person's mouth like with bad teeth especially <laughs> he can eat an apple through a chain link fence especially the black and purple pair where you have like the contrast you have the contrast fucking freaking uh, rubber chunks so, like that to me I was the sole turns me it off looks like that. a chop saw mule sole to some degree but just kind of like a little different mm, little diffy it looks like it a hits fucking diffy. it looks like <laughs> mm, mm, Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right. The last category for freaking John's best trend of the year. I'd like to kick this off with our big brain in the motherfucking building, Roberto Robbie, Kelly. Get on camera, bro. What? We're Can I get a bigger table in 2024? Yeah. I, okay. We're going to need a bigger office. I don't know if these were on the original list, but um, I think, and you guys definitely deserve uh, props for this. I think As per legitimately usual. my favorite brand right now, I'm Fear not me. wearing any of it, is MF Pen. I think yes. they're Little fantastic. I love just kind of the like slouchy, casual tailoring. Yeah. Just oh. like bigger jackets, <clears throat> bigger, you know, the like bigger shirts, mm-hmm. uh, bigger trousers. I think you've oh, seen more of that. Um, and I, I love that. I think that's great. That so, would so like slouchy business casual. Yeah, a little bit more nineties. Yeah. Like exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like it's slacker core. Unk core on here is like what that's I was. It. Yeah, like I would say that's like say. a Jason going out like shirt. The, go, the, go, yeah. the going out shirt. Yeah, yeah. like Basically. that was my favorite Shout thing. Shout to yeah. And I think yeah. everyone's like, oh, the like how returned office is like affecting menswear oh, or whatnot. Yeah. But I think it's a I think it's a middle ground between like dressing like an adult, but you're not. You don't look like a cornball. Robbie, I hate to say this, but I feel feel like the styling of the MFN models is kind of what essence aspires to at times. 
Uh, I'll like, take that up with the styling department. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. But um, at the same time, send a strongly I'm worded email, bro. I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, wait, wait, wait. I've got a couple more thoughts. Okay. Sorry. Right, I want to, uh, in terms of you know, tapping oh, into fucking, my, my tapping, in, notes. tapping into what I see the most in my neighborhood, the uh, overlap between the Lower East Side and Chinatown. Chinatown. Uh, the like Bob Dylan core, I think, oh, is a big sure. one of guys Shout dressing like they look a little bit homeless, small I'm jackets. They're cold. I think like that is definitely maybe it's like a winter fall bias, but like that is definitely the plurality of guys are dressing like that. You know what it is? It's the, the East Coast version of the Silver Lake mechanic. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fair. It's just like a little bit more. I'm it's also poor. kind of like country <laughs> co- But I live in New York. <laughs> it's like country <laughs> cosplay though. That's a big yeah, thing right I'm now where poor. dudes that are like from the city want to dress like they, you know, have yeah. you know go to a farm this or what. You ain't never turned butt in your life, bitch. Yeah, stop appropriating <laughs> my <laughs> Lancaster this culture. Jacket isn't heavy enough. <laughs> Bobby's <laughs> culture is not your costume, dude. Let me see the calluses from churning yeah, that yeah. butter. I think dog. also What are the vegan options at this gallery I think quiet quiet like Luxury is a little bit quiet. Luxury is corny, but I, quiet luxury, I still bro. think in 2024. <laughs> I'm so uh, I, no, I'm I'm, I'm, ag- yeah. I'm agreeing with you, but I think fuck that quiet, like prep is luxury. still prep is still gonna be big fuck in 2024, prep. in my opinion. Like old Abercrombie and Fitch, bro, it's still gonna be big. I I'm not saying this is my you favorite think, trend. You think prep has peaked? No, I do not. I do. I uh, know. I, I. We are. We are not out of the prep window <laughs> the yet. Are no, you got it. You got three more <laughs> years of like, this. I feel like building off of that though, we're gonna go from East Coast prep to like West Coast prep a little Ooh. bit. What is West Coast? What would you describe as West Coast prep? The, everything that everybody wore on the OC, dude. Like that. Well, that yeah, like I that, think like that, that, West Coast that prep. Right? It's like that, that, it's a little bit more it's gaudy. Like, it's not prep, but it's like, but it's like that's what like the freaking you know like that. that <laughs> it's Hollister, not Abercrombie. Yeah, like that, new Vampire that, Weekend yeah. album next year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the new demographic um, of like of, of. Do you think it's that people. like a uh, more like clean cut all American good boy fucking freaking like the gays that we spent uh, the gays are trying to outdress us? No, but I, it's, um, it's in Aspen. No, it's like taking it's taking like. Like northeastern, oh, northeastern dicks, prep, dicks, but like yeah. making it more yeah. relaxed, which is exactly yeah. what you're saying with like the button ups and right. like the bigger, the bigger bit more Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it's just uh, a chiller version of that. Yeah, I think <laughs> a um, chiller version. Bro. Yeah, exactly. The the SoCal, you know. Uh, I like I, that. I just want yo shout out, shout out New York. I feel like New York's really fucking putting that shit on, and we have absolutely surpass any LA bullshit West Coast bullshit no, in terms for of like, sure. the fucking East Coast West Coast I agree one, yeah. one more one more trend thought and then I'll fuck no, no, off no. Keep, and um, then it's you answered kind of right yeah yeah okay, yeah. Good, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm good yeah. as I've started to go to my like first round of like fashion shows and stuff it was definitely jarring oh, to see what people are wearing there alert <laughs> I'll see you in pity, bitch. You're blown up. That's good, fantastic, <laughs> um, bitch. But no, it was very interesting just to see like what people wear there, and everybody who is not, there is Jesus. such a divide between like the influencers that go to shows and then the industry people, and everyone who yeah, is one not of them are employed, in, bro. Yeah, and and the people who are not influencers, it seems so like intentionally just dress in like minimalism, like all black, all just like black and white, Chic. Uh, which but I think like, is interesting. Very dirty little word. And, like, it's not a, quite luxury, but it's like very nice fashion. Exactly, it's not quite luxury like just good silhouettes but like minimalism at least in like that realm of fashion that i you know i was not aware of how like much of an influence that had or like how those Welcome people dress hell, brother. it's just minimalism like it, you could literally be a guy off the street and you just wear all black like you probably get into an area show or it's something minimalism, it's minimalism but then i think that sick uh, reference bro everyone knows you have the sickest reverence <laughs> <Taylor. true. laughs> it's minimalism but then i think uh people really do step it up with accessories where it's agreed like a yes. crazy one ring or earring yeah. or like one a, piece a wacky hat or, or just like <laughs> shoe or something no i totally agree it's like it's minimalism but you do one flex piece as soon yeah. as you throw multiple pieces that you're kind of flexing it's like oh this person's an influencer yeah. i think people within the industry that are you know very snobby or whatnot dress very intentionally to make it known that they are not influencers yeah. because the influencers mm-hmm. that go to those shows not dress are ridiculously they yeah. dress insane right. like it's crazy because they're just trying to get street styled i mean on. we've you guys have talked <laughs> about this way. of people trying to get street styled um so i do think like minimalism <laughs> just like like not quiet luxury, one. fuck quiet luxury. Something between, <laughs> say it loud. <laughs> but it's like a step down from know. that where you're you are dressing quiet, but it's just it's just minimalism. I, I, I'm I'm, I'm pro minimalism okay. uh, in my personality, but that that's it for me. Okay, right. thank you, Robbie. That Thanks, was Robbie. Uh, a great rundown. We even got Chef involved there. James, what was your trend of the year? Um, 
Why don't you come back to me? Okay. Uh, Chuck, <laughs> you a, Chuck, what was your trend of the year? Um, I'm at least qualified for this one, but oh, I think okay. I like le- I like leather 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 suit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, leather. Not, bad year for cows. Not, 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 not in like a not in like a bad year for <laughs> cows. Not in a Saint leather. Laurent way, but like in a self edge kind of way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, a like a biker. Like not a like a biker. Oh. Um, uh, well, a real biker. Shout out the 316, the 316 shot stuff that they did. That yeah. was that yeah. was that, that was, was pretty always cool. hits. Yeah, that always hits. That's yeah. a great collab every year. Yeah, freaking. Uh, James, did you okay. did it come to you? Uh, Pause. I really liked weird leather, kind of mm. like going beyond just black and brown and into like ox blood. I fucking mm. love ox Tasty. blood leather. Uh, the navy butter leather. Give me I the blood, Trebian. <laughs> I want the blood. Give me the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Slaughter it. <laughs> um, I really like weird. I really like weird jeans, like going beyond just like black dad wash, and maybe even like uh, just like salvage navy. Um, whether it's like the brown Oralees, oh, whether like it's the fucking the digi print yeah, yeah, yeah. Arlegaches. Bottega did the leather denim. Yep. Uh, so 4S, crazy. Four S did the deerskin leather denim. Mm-hmm. Maybe first, right before first. I think it was first, stolen. but like stolen probably IP. development. Uh, I mean, there's no way Bottega. The, timing wise, I'm not saying that Bottega doesn't look at Angel, what Angel's doing and rips it. I'm just saying that yeah. timing wise, there's no way that they saw what Angel did and like turned it around. But Angel's did hit first at a fucking at a freaking uh, throwing fits event, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We, we were at Nordstrom yeah. for that. Yeah, Nordstrom's yeah. that little um, trunk. I would also say y, y Project has <laughs> done some really cool uh, like out there jeans where Was it's like weird crops or whatnot yeah. as well. I, fucking, I would agree. freaking Eckhouse Lauta, my boy Mike, who we became best friends at Allison Roman's ham party. Is he Eckhouse or Lauta? I think he's Eckhouse. Eckhouse. Yeah. Eckhouse? Eckhouse. We must protect this Eckhouse. Um, but uh 194 with Levi's did the yeah, piss the yellow piss silver yellow. tabs. Also, That's in the coop smoking cat piss for real, dude. Also, <laughs> silver tabs does crazy colors and like you can get uh, silver tabs are coming in uh ahead of 501s, vintage 501s for me. And I think if anybody wants like good vintage denim, just go to fucking eBay and just search silver tabs. You can pick some up Facts. for five bucks. But, like pleated denim was a fucking thing. Like, oh, right. I think weirdo denim was my turn of the year. That's a that's a great call. Personally speaking, I think everyone on this show maybe has some weird denim somewhere. You know, some skeletons in the closet, if you if you will. Um, all right, I'm just gonna throw out a couple other ones and then I'll get to mine. Uh, which is which did Chef go? Yeah, he was. I, on I tapped in. I'm I'm on the same oh, page as Robbie. My bad, Unk mode. That's the fucking <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Unk mode number one, uh, which I know you're going to speak on too because yeah. you agree with me. But just like yeah, dressing kind of not Unk-ish. like a little unky, <laughs> get un- get unky with it. Uh, a little <laughs> nah, 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 a little nah. ugly, but like nah, just nah, 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 having nah. comfort getting ugly at with it. The dude, four. you're getting you're getting <laughs> enough money to dress nice, but make it like. <clears throat> comfortable, <laughs> comfortable, <laughs> comfortable and chill. Yeah, yeah. Fisher, fisherman sandals next summer are going to be huge. Dude, I, of course, uh, dude. Yeah. They're hundred percent. No, they're a hundred percent going to be huge with like the I luxury. Never brand. <laughs> Bro, I've been no. They're literally and like I think the like post score the like Keens uniques like that yeah, type of like on. water sandal. Yeah, water I think sandal. The overlap there is dude, yo, like, putting on the freaking putting on the freaking chop saw. Is Jesse's like, are you yeah. about to go swimming in these right now? No, like what the what the fuck? The fisherman sandals are going to be huge. Next summer, Bro, here's I the thing about fishing sandals. Agree. It's a fall shoe. It's better in the fall. Trust me. Trust me. Just trust me. Here's shit. the thing trust about fishermen sandals. Our fisherman, <laughs> fisherman correspondent. Anytime I like post some shit or like drop some shit in the Discord and I get fucking mocked, I know that that's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 you're right. <laughs> oh, we back. Oh, we <laughs> lock in. Jimmy, that's how you know that shit be bussin' bussin'. <laughs> Jimmy cooks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Fisherman um, sandals on my hippies. Uh, speaking of <laughs> Jimmy cooks, he's never wrong. Period. It's unk mode for sure. The fisherman the sandal. Shout. No one even mentioned the extendo shorts. Oh, Maybe pleated, yeah. Yeah. but those shits be bailed out. Yeah. Whether you're in fucking Italy or in the United Indeed. States of America. Oh, what do you need? You need to adjust. I'm little. turning you up. Oh, thanks. Turn them up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Twist and tease. Um, <laughs> the point here is that if you were looking like you were about to go crazy on yes. the grill, you probably had a motherfucking fit on. Yeah. Uh, I like big ass coats yep. and dumb viral sneakers, which I fucking hate, are undeniable and yeah. were undeniable last year from the big red boots to the Balenci 10 XL oh, to I fucking the, so bad. the Kerwin Fry Guy clogs. Oh, like, those are so good. Dumb <laughs> viral sneakers <laughs> definitely Dude, the had their moment. And with that said, oh, actually, we're not done with the Johns categories. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's move on to, we're at it almost an hour. Let's go to most stylish celeb of the year. Um, I'm going to throw this to who's prepared. 
And is uh, that oh, Robbie's Robbie? Better. Robbie. I'll We're get my like bullshit 55. out of the way. Oh, okay, whatever. It had to come up. It had to come up once during this podcast, or I wouldn't be sticking to my guns. But mine is Maddie. I Matt No, oh. Maddie Healy. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. What? He dresses oh, Maddie Healy. God, dude, shut it's been on tour all year. Up, Robbie, I know. Dude. I'll get it out of the way. But he's been wearing a lot of like old Lemair, old Jill Sanders, great knit polos. He's been wearing our legacy also, which. Oh. I think I overlooked okay. in brand of the year, but I got 1979 reasons why so you 75. need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you think it's also, a fucking song. They did it. He did a show. He did a show in Vegas uh, where he wore these like incredibly like clearly just went <laughs> to the, the Chrome Hearts on. store with these sunglasses that were so sick, just like the biggest Chrome Hearts sunglasses. It was fuck. awesome. Matt right? is my best fuck. dressed celebrity. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I'm not gonna Matt come on here. <laughs> but also like Nasty. looking through the list, I'm like, you guys but still he also. Do you guys still chat? You guys still talk? We did meet at the. At, at, at the, Virgin uh, No, store. shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> no, do you, at the no. Okay, all right. Ice, What's the when Ice the Spice was on the cover of Variety, <laughs> yes. in it she referenced how she met Maddie at a JPG Fashion Week party, which was, was the S Essence was party. S and oh, I was right, right, right. I will just say that I was Eat there squashed. talking to Maddie while Ice Spice walked behind her, and she. Or Maddie went to her and was like, "Hey, like, are you like you good? Like, nice to see you, love. Like, it's British accent." She was like, and "No, they, I'm good." I don't they need had a little a moment, and I was, <laughs> I was standing there, obviously I'm having an like, out of that's, body experience. That's history, dog. But I was like, "Because <laughs> right that's there. what he got. History. That's what he got cooked the most for <laughs> this no, year." For Shout sure. out, yeah, calm yeah, down. Yeah. And you Spice Girl, yeah, yeah. And it was like that mm. moment was at that party. That's what got the Swifties to turn on. Like, made up, and she was like, "Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, it's fine. Like, I thought it was funny, and that's what she said in the Variety cover." So. What a free my man. Yeah. All right. Okay. All Robbie, right. Get, the, Healy. get out of here, bro. Get out <laughs> yeah. Here. All right, that's so Maddie. One one vote for Maddie Healy. Who's not on the list? <laughs> He's also, let's put him on the list. I'm sticking to you my guns. To stick I'm sticking to, list. to my guns. Let's put him yeah, on the I list so we can get one vote. <laughs> yeah. He got 1975 guns. He's from New York. Okay, Chuck. Who is your best dressed celeb of the year or most stylish? Your? Most stylish celeb of the year. Did Maddie Healy say your? Yeah. <laughs> I like the. I like the other. I like, yeah. I like Maddie Matheson, who was yeah, my yeah. most solid. Yeah, celebrity. I thought you were talking about Maddie Matheson La last well, year because yeah, he's on the list. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm. He was your best dress last year. Yes, right. he almost won. Remember, he like re he he over indexed. I think in mm. terms of fame to votes, right? Yes, but he is he's famous. famous. Yeah, he's in a fucking Instacart commercial. The bear. But also, I mean, I've been I've been Shout watching back. more basketball than I have ever in my life. Nice. Uh, oh, I know where this is going. Let's SGA. go. SGA. Oh, come I mean, on, dude. Yeah. I mean, Hardest between, out on the what do, you, what do you think of the captions? I think, at you? first, I was like, this is so stupid. But now I'm just like, I kind of love they it. They fucking like, rock, yeah. dude. And They're just, freaking awesome, dude. And just seeing, <laughs> he should go straight for Drake. You rarely see someone so fucking good at basketball mm -hmm. dress. Now he's like, locked the fuck in. Like, like, I mean, I know hey, tunnel, I uh, tunnel, tunnel fits to get a lot of hate, but I think uh, SJ is killing No, but he's the, he's the one that rises above. He's in bowl, a different bowl, bowl? category. Bowl, bowl, <laughs> fire. Bowl, oh, my God. Yo, dude. SGA was the only one that actually made the fucking mischief big red boots look Kind of acceptable, decent. kind of just because he was well, he's a huge, a massive human, massive so look like red boots on him, yeah. But he wore them <laughs> with like big ass jeans that covered up most of them, and then he just had the bulbous toe, yeah, looking like Weve boots or some shit, yeah. Shout out fucking SGA for sure. Uh, James, who's your most stylish celeb of the year? I'm gonna do Killian Murphy because I like how he gets a little fucking gay with it, <laughs> um, where he's like he dresses a little fucking freaky, man, destroy of worlds, yeah, wait, a little zesty, yeah. Zesty fits. I am become him. Um, <laughs> he, I like the. He has such kind eyes, and like you know, you, you look at him and you think Thomas Fulton Shelby, and then he comes through wearing like a sheer shirt underneath, like a nice kind of slim suit. Um, I, just, I like that. That's I just really, book. and he had the flow. Mm. He like doesn't know what memes are, or maybe he, does. Uh, he lied about that. He definitely knows now. But uh, yeah, I really like the. Uh, I think he got overshadowed by like the fucking Barbie core. With sure. Goss God uh, doing all pink shit. Um, Ryan Godling. Yeah. And then the <laughs> other Irish homie, Barry. What's his name? Keegan. Keegan. Kogan. 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 It, oh, yeah. I'm wrong. Oh, well, I was saying Keegan and we got called out. It's Kogan. But I also think we got called out for that. So it's one of those. Barry Kogan. Kogan. Uh, the Joker. Barry Kogan. Yeah. <laughs> the new Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, 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 baby splits G's. Baby Joker. Baby Joker. I think he he, <laughs> he put <laughs> Baby Joker. Him and Alper and Shangun. I'm the bit. Baby Joker, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he I think put on like more. I'm baby. He put Joker. on crazier fits, but I think Killy Murphy actually kind of killed it. So I that, 
I love Killian. That. That's yeah. a Killian Killian Murphy, right? To be clear, it should be kill, uh, killing a Murphy. Nice. <laughs> Murphy Murphy. Uh, <laughs> Chef, Murphy. do you have a most stylish celeb of the year that you would like to shout out? Um, Why is it Drake? Uh, you know. Is he on here? Drake, oh, he is. Drake is on here. He's not my most. He's on to lose. Celeb. He's on to lose. He's yeah. He's he's tragedy. on he's on his decline right now, in my opinion, unfortunately. <gasps> but pickleball. Um, my yeah, it was the it was the it was the oh. pickleball photo what, that right got me. Sweat all also, crazy? I'm like, yeah. Why do you look like it's so intense right now? You're playing fucking pickleball yeah. on like a private court. This is the easiest <laughs> thing. Yeah. No, um, no I think it was that hard on pickleball. I think uh, I I I don't think that I've seen a celeb like consistently putting out fits or style that I want to emulate this year. So it's kind of hard to, right. to answer this. I will say, I think that Killian Murphy did have a cool press run this year. Facts. I think that his NTS show or whatever the fuck he's doing oh, yeah. is, is lit. Like he just seems like a cool guy that minds his business. On the fucking NTS show, he disses yeah. England. He's like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's right. Like, yeah, he, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's he, on the right side of history. He, what? Yeah, yeah no, bro. he's got, and he's playing yes. like fucking he's like, Irish. RXK nephew and shit like he's like free the, free yeah, the guys like, dude yeah. he's got he's got good taste so. I think he's cool but based <laughs> off based off the paparazzi photos alone I gotta shout out Rocky again for the Bottega stuff that was cool Rocky put and then shit, also put that shit on this year that's all he does for that for that singular <laughs> and that's photo fine. that's all we do yo, yo did Rocky put that shit on this year comment <laughs> yeah. comment yo, below yo did I, Rocky put on the most shit on this year people people gotta do better but also I will shout yes, out for real, my, for real. my favorite photo of the year. Uh, at the buzzer, Justin Bieber with the damn iced coffee, like one 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 arm out yeah, of yeah. Uh, underneath the yeah, the just dropped. Yeah. Bieber fit just dropped. That looked fu- <laughs> he looks. I was like, nobody looks this fucking cool. He's a real ever. baby joker. Dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was How awesome. Can you so, take that much Xanax and still get a fit. I'm gonna off, give you know? I'm gonna give it to the Biebs for that one. Wow, but, crazy. Yeah. Beebs? No, no, no. Just, uh, just the okay. best photo of the year. Just giving yeah. him a and yeah. flower. What, so I don't, your, I don't, so I, your, I don't, your don't have a. I don't have one, man. You don't like, have one. Yeah, that, I'm not, yeah, I respect that. That's, um, that's like Brando the Oscars. Chef. Yeah. yeah. Chef. Fuck, fuck celebs. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> fuck well, celebs. Yo, yeah. Fuck. Yo, fuck. Quiet. You, got, you guys celebs. are the most stylish celebrities oh, I know. Oh, at this point. Oh, oh, you're yeah. gonna make Stop me it. blush. At this is easy for me. Put the gl- put the put those shits on. <laughs> yeah. Put them shits on. Why round this out? Yo, glove on. I legitimately believe that the answer in my heart of hearts to this question I think is I know objective. It is K Dot, dude. It's Kendrick, oh. dude. Kendrick looks That's so yes. Of Martin course. Rose. We Martin mentioned Rose. we mentioned the uh, the collab Martine. with uh, Martin Martin Rose and the Hillbillies, but merch aside, like, dude. He, I don't even care no, about he, the, he the just music. Wears Martin Rose. No, but he, dude, he's, he's wearing. He's wearing crazy shit. And I feel like yeah. he moved on from like, a, I'm the guy that wears like Craig Green at a festival. Yeah. Like, okay. I think he fucking yeah. really upped his game. Jerk off the, motion for those listening. The, was he the, wearing Martine <laughs> Rose at the Super Bowl last year too? I think like that that black what? suit. Or, yeah. No, I mean, I mean off the, like Was his, last year the West Coast, sorry. Was last year the West Coast hip hop yeah. tribute? Oh my God. Bombed him. <laughs> oh, that was fire. Bombed oh, it in the guess. building though. That was, was two years Solomon's on. She did. I think that uh, Kendrick's uh, burner account. Yeah. That's like fire, all like the, whether it's like the custom fucking hats, the fits, like everything looked fucking sick. He, for me, really, because I'm a shy guy, you know that? Um, Shay, excuse You're me. shy guy. I'm a shy, shy guy. I'm a shy I said baby. That wrong. Um, yeah, I'm the Joker, I'm shy baby. baby joker. I'm the baby Joker. No, I think it's K-Dot, dude, 100,000. K-Dot has surrounded himself with uh, good people. Uh, yes. Honestly, the, a huge crush of mine, the one that got away, um, <clears throat> Should be is rich. a stylist is a stylist that like is in his employ. I think that she more focused on Baby Keem, but I think she kind of like assists with Keemster with uh, Kenny uh, Kariza Kung Fu works Kenny. for fucking PG yep. Lang. Ciao PG um, Lang. She has crazy good taste, so I think that he's done the thing kind of like kind of like Abraham Lincoln, where he surrounded himself with like genius minds <laughs> to kind of like uh, elevate the. <laughs> wait what? Yeah. <laughs> wait wait, we're comparing Kendrick Lamar to Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, let me fucking objection, PG Lincoln, Lincoln dude. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> Factor cap. <laughs> let him cook. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Anyway, your honor, my client was locked in. Um, all right, part of my client was wearing leather gloves because he's acoustic. <laughs> I believe that was uh, who's OJ's lawyer? Oh, Johnny Cochran. Literally used that uh, use that defense. Nah, bro, fucking Kardashian guy. Robert, Robert, Robert Kardashian, Kardashian and Johnny Cochran. And Johnny Cochran. Cochran, yeah. Yeah, shout out Judge Edo. If the glove fit, you're getting off a of fit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. You must have quit. You must have quit the fit. You gotta quit the fit, dude. That's what it is. All right. Moving out of the John space and getting oh, into go. the real fucking culture categories. And I'm gonna throw this right to fucking Carlos 
What was your Zuvi of the motherfucking year, broski? I have a top three. Let's uh, go. So I want to hear top five, actually. Number three, I don't know. Top five, do top, top five. five. Uh, number three was Bo is Afraid. I actually liked really? that movie. I had a great time in the theater. Was it very divisive? Lincoln Center IMAX. It was fucking huge. You saw Bo is Afraid? <laughs> you saw Bo is Afraid in IMAX? Yeah, it was Bo scary. is huge, It was dude. scary as fuck. I was, Carlos was afraid. Uh, Bo is tall to hell. <laughs> it was scary as fuck. Uh, when he goes to the bodega, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. Uh, you empathize with the character. <laughs> yeah. Got that it. was Joaquin. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Wappenheimer, number two. Sure. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Nolan back. Uh, can't wait to see what he do, does next. Uh, <laughs> let me know. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to the next premiere. What does he do next? Do you know? Does anyone uh, know? Hasn't been announced. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, number one. I'm a Godzilla stand. Oh, year one. Godzilla dude. minus one. Minus bro. one. Or minus that one. Excuse movie me. Movie <laughs> was and the uh, you it's know it's like 99 fucking freshy. It right? was like, people love that fresh ski. Uh, Rotten tomato ski. Fits were good. Yeah. Fitzkies? Godzilla was putting I that shit on. I wasn't around, but Godzilla was putting that shit on. <laughs> All the soldiers were putting that shit on. I heard that Godzilla had a crazy fupa in uh, Minus <laughs> One. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. or not? He, he looks fire. Did you see that in theaters? How do I watch yes. that? Oh, yes. it's in theaters. Yeah, it's, fire. it's out right People now. People love that shit. It was the best yeah. movie. Godzilla is the OG IP Oh, you should, you should say it properly. Gojira. Yeah. Is the fucking, does it make you listen to more King, King Ghidorah? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> King was, Ghidorah. Yeah. I felt really good after coming Pass out. Pass me the skita. Um, I really want to see that. Chuck, I love hearing you talk about movies. Uh, Robbie, movie of the year? I'll uh, leave this to the other, the bigger movie heads. Mine will be quick, but mine's kind of a curveball. I'm gross. going with the re-release of uh, Stop Making Sense, oh, uh, The Talking Heads. Yeah, I don't know if that dude. really counts, yeah, that's great. but I we love that. We tried to get that. David Byrne on the pod, by the way. That would like, be... His, no way. His oh, post, no, it was close, bro. Yeah, it was close. Fuck. It was close. Oh, I mean, God. it's not horseshoes and hand grenades on, on the only podcast that matters, but we were... That it was, is like, it wasn't so, outside the realm of possibility. No, like, that, that for me has been a... so fucking psyched and then subsequently bummed. Talking Heads ex Susi. Amazing collab this year. Uh, Stussy may be the only brand that did band collabs good. It's talking Heads, Gangstar. Wait, they didn't Noah do actually the, oh, the Cure? The, the cure. cure. That was that was the good. Cure, that was the good. Time. It's the second time, but that's okay. just for for, <laughs> just also one for, too many. <laughs> for for me. That's too like too a goaded after. Is like no, you just put good. stop making sense, uh, start to finish on the TV on the YouTube rotation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so oh, that cool. will always have a soft spot for me. Uh, yes. Life during wartime just goes oh, so hard. On, I love so that. So, so I'll leave this to the film heads. But that 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 for me is home. Is where I want to be, <laughs> but I guess I'm already there. Jeff, movie of the year, movie oh, nice. of the year. Yeah, it was really um, great. all nice right. Job. I I don't, I don't have I can't I haven't narrowed it down to one, but I do have a top three too. Let's go, let's, okay. go, let's, um, go let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And that's freaking uh, fine. I I <laughs> did see I saw poor things last oh, night. Oh, how was it? How was it? Oh, this sh- this Willem was Willeman. Willem was everybody was doing their thing except for. Unfortunately, I got to say, I love to see my boy in the movie, Gerard Carmichael. Yeah. But I don't think that he did a great job. How's Rami? Movie. Rami, sweet. Ruffalo. And awesome. Slapping. Ruffalo was hilarious. Ruffalo was my favorite part of the movie. Mm. Straight up. This dude was funny as fuck. But Emma. <laughs> how's Emma? Emma? Funny as frick. Emma Stone. The goat of all time. What? I gotta say, the goat she, of all time, dude. The goat of all Superman. time. Let him cook. No, for sure. She is. She goes fucking crazy. The goat, range. Oh goat, dude. Goat, goat tote. Goat of all time. O A T. Goat gra- tote. She's the greatest goat of all time. Do you think that's uh, gonna be in the Oscar the, combo? The, a lot of people are saying. I, like, I, if 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 there if there were a person that's, that's, that's that deserves an Oscar, I think it's Emma Stone in this movie. Or Yorgos. She goes, yeah. dude. It's a it's a it's Yorgos is Dude, it's the it's this retarded woman is making us reexamine society's rules and norms. That's crazy. From Arizona. Yo, yeah. Phys- it's a physical performance. It's an emotional performance. It's like fucking, yo, no, everything about it. It's so, yo, yeah, mm. it's, she, Emma go, Stone, go she, go, she goes crazy. She's and not like, going to fuck you, and bro. And I will say, I've been, I've been watching, I've been watching <laughs> the oh curse God, too. Bo- and I, I have been, I have been rocking with the curse. Yeah. Uh, she's great oh, in that. Oh, so. yeah. true, true. Uh, true, yeah, true, so true. fucking, yeah, it's a fucking yeah. fact, bro. You know, yeah. I fucking love that shit. No, you two are the only people I know that were So weird. No, it's so weird. It's so time. It's so fucking weird. But it's on Plex. But it's fun. Tap in. Oh, it is? Oh, pfft. Less, bro. Uh, all right, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say poor things. Poor things Not is probably good. gunning okay. for top spot right now. Woo! I haven't, I haven't for the number. One I haven't spot. seen. I, see uh, I still haven't seen freaking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Every time, bro. I know this. I know this isn't gonna be number one, but I haven't seen Saltburn yet, and I feel like oh, I might. Okay. I feel like I might enjoy it. Yo, so, needle drop um, of the year, murder on the dance floor. That final fucking scene is well, incredible. Uh, baby Joker. Is Yo, baby, yeah. Joker uh, yeah, baby Joker in it? Baby Joker. That dick ain't baby. I will say. 
<laughs> my man be dangling. Um, he got a man dick. I had I had a lot of fun watching. I had a lot of fun watching May December. I think that I yes, thought, yeah. yes. Real, real quick. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Um, I think that poor things and Saltburn are kind of like cousins. Sure. Maybe. Okay. Interesting. Which is a, a, um, a rollicking good time in the theater. Yeah. I I I I, I think I'm, I think I might have missed. <laughs> the motherfuckers said rollicking. Yeah. I think I might have missed Saltburn's like theater theater window, okay. uh, so now I'm gonna have to stream it, which sucks. But uh, but I'm excited That's to fun. watch it. Mm-mm. But uh, no, May December May December was fun as fuck. I thought I really I thought it was hilarious. Okay, so I've watched the first um, half. Should I keep watching yes, the second? Yes, half? Okay. yeah, yeah. No, because it like it Julian just, Moore is the goat dude, of all she, time. She, yeah, oh, the goat oat. She the goat-o-t. well the goat oat is Diane Keaton, but fucking oh, yes. uh, <laughs> but uh, but yes. no, but like in the pantheon of like the Mount Rushmore of goats, it's like Keaton, Keaton, Julian Moore. I will. Well, Wait, you know, Diane Skeeton? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Emma Stone. I will say Portman. Trying Portman, to stone. Portman not far off. <laughs> she got me bricked up like a damn stone, dude. Portman's not far off, and I feel like the no. fact that she oh, has things, she, dude. No, dude. The fact More that she like had Natalie to, Fart, have man. You seen yeah. Garden State? <laughs> she had to play. She had to play a shitty, a shitty actress in this movie. I and know. I, thought, I know. I know. Like that's like it was. It was. She did a good job. You know what I mean? Oh, she's it's, good at playing a bad actress. That's crazy. Sometimes I think it's harder to pretend to be bad at something than I hate it, to be a guy. I think Portman is overrated. I fuck with her the long way, the hard way. She's overrated. Uh, she went to, she went to Harvard. Harvard. Yeah. I like her Chanel commercial. Nah, she went, dude. She went. She yeah, went. She she's went crazy. Wicked smart. <laughs> Black, Black Swan. Black Swan. One of my probably one of my top five movies. Okay. I, I, always, right. I always saw um, that Garden movie. Garden State. Uh, Garden State's your top five. No, Is that Bla- what you said? Black Swan. Good one, um, <laughs> uh, But uh, no, Gar- Garden State is okay. That's a shot. Um, no, it holds up. Dude. It's, 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 a, it's a it's a ass movie because of the soundtrack. This this song is gonna change your life. Um, but uh, no, and then my last one, my last one, I will, I'll put it in there. And I feel like a lot of people like are saying that it was good. It wasn't great. I thought that Killers of the Flower Moon was great. I fucking, I love that movie. Uh, Marty, Marty, the goat of all time. He's on the um, list for goat of the year. The goat Spoilers. No, no Haki, I think he might, he might be my goat of the year. It's either. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. He, he was great. Honorable mention to Priscilla. That was a fun movie too. <laughs> but, Come uh, on, brother. No, dude, you didn't like it? I didn't see it. All right. <laughs> there we go. Come on. This this I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. It a was, movie about a fucking chick. Yeah. Dude, what am I fucking gay? I think uh no, Priscilla Priscilla was the, the music the music was the music was incredible. Alordi was a more convincing Elvis to me than Austin Butler was, well, thank which you very is much. insane. Oh, yeah. oh, like we did. Okay, so I'm talking like this. Please, please, please fucking kill me. It's Austin Butler. I think it's I, like I they, La- last year was a uh, uh, bust very much. <laughs> Yeah, oh. I think it's a stolen come town bit, but we're we're just doing very, it. Very, very intentionally. I mean, Please, you my see, brain's broken. Up. Please fucking hang me. The doctor you, won't let me have shoelaces. You see different sides of Elvis. Myself. Both what? they play different sides of Elvis, and I got. I think Alordi's Elvis was. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, Alordi plays the Elvis that fucks and marries a fourteen-year-old. Alordi plays a more oh. honest Elvis. Oh, uh, you're sure. right. He's pretty cool. He's pretty uh, cool, dude. Nah. wearing Lawrence's uh, brown blazer, but uh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> See on the uh, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, that, that, that's it. I'm that's talking manifest the manifesto. James, um, movie what? of the year. Oh, sorry, um, chef. We're moving on. No, <laughs> oh, chef, keep going. No, I, that that that's it. I will I will also shout out the Past Lives soundtrack. I thought Ooh. was I was I have been bumping that all year. I think it's the movie. Yeah. The movie was <laughs> what's the car test on the Past Lives soundtrack? Dude? Uh, the movie the movie was good. It was fine, but the soundtrack is amazing, and I and I, I've been loving it. Uh, nice. But yeah, and for that it jumps up. Great year for movies. Uh, I haven't seen most of them on this list. Yeah. I really want to see Poor Things. I really just want to I think get step my movie game up. Um, for me, it's Saltburn, which I fucking really enjoyed. Sorry that I'm not fucking approaching the movie. Being like, oh, what's my quippy quip going to be on fucking Letterboxd? What's my critical lens? Oh, it's actually not moving. The pace is crazy. The twists are <laughs> predictable, well, whatever. If it wasn't moving, the pace wouldn't be crazy. The pace it would is be- good. The pace is fire. <laughs> 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 Letterbox dropping soon, dude. Yeah, Letterbox, great pace. Yo, honestly, for any movie, you just say the pace is yeah. crazy and let someone just cook with that. <laughs> just sit with that for a minute. The pace was crazy. Yo, they were cr- they were crazy. The pacing was crazy. No, the, the pace, pacing. the pace, the pace. The pace. <laughs> No, my man, fucking pace. Yo, not to be like a cinephile, but the pace was crazy. (laughs) They went crazy with the pace. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) My man graduated summa cum laude from Pace University, dude. I can't stop pacing. Please kill me. (laughs) Wait, so that you're good, right? It was just a (laughs) really good, bro. It was a really fun time. I had a great fucking afternoon watching it at Alamo. 
drinking two Allagash Whites and some <laughs> uh, sweet and spicy gochujang cauliflower oh, bites. Oh, yo. Wow. Fucking app of the year at Alamo, dude. <laughs> yo, the gochujang cauliflower yo, bites? Appy, yo, yo, change it to the appies. <laughs> yo, the appies, dude. All right. Um, <laughs> mozzarella sticks. The mozzarella sticks are goaded. Bernie's. Well, I was- well, Bernie's are thick. Pause. <laughs> gay. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Alamo mozzarella sticks are thin and definitely like some frozen shit that just like heat up, but like I still fuck I still fuck yeah. with them. You still fuck them? <laughs> I still fuck them. The marinara sauce is too cold though. <laughs> I do like it's it. Jar- it's jarring. I, no, I like a tell. temperature juxtaposition, mm. dude. Some might say the pace was crazy. <laughs> um, yo, all right. One I, everyone said some obvious stuff. Well, no one said Oppenheimer, which was good. Chuck said Oppenheimer. That oh, was right. Number no two. Back, no number two. Back, right. uh, Oppenheimer. No one said they cloned Tyrone. Low key yeah. banger, dude. Fucking incredible. It's Great on pace. Netflix. Great pace. Anybody can watch it. Um, I think <laughs> that people would expect a film bro to be like Scorsese, oh, goat of all time. Are you a film bro? The most fun I had yeah. in Thieves. Being sarcastic. The most oh. fun I've oh, had I in can't Thieves wait for this. Year. Barbie, yeah, it is yeah. what it is, bro. Yeah, hate yeah. you can hate all you want. In terms of the most fun that I had in theaters, the most fun that money can buy. Mm. Honestly, it was Barbie. It just is what it is. Nice. I cannot front. I cannot lie. With that said, I don't know if I'm going to rewatch it. Oh, Obviously, not I'm an ally. I'm going to probably run back the killer. He hates it. I'm going to run back. Killers of the Flower it's Moon. Bad. He hates it. I don't hate Killers of the Flower Moon. I I'm going to go rent some books on trucks. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Barbie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, I don't support it. women. Shall go back me up? The Charlie XCX song goes hard. Yeah, no, it's, no, the, no it and the great. fucking yeah, Nikki, funny, the Nikki Ice Spice song is a banger. And Dua Lipa, and the Dua, and the Dua Lipa song. Yeah, smoke, yeah, smoke, I mean, smoke of the year. Yeah, yeah. And to, right. smoke, oh, smoke show of the year. Sorry, smoke, <laughs> smoke of the year. Oh, yo, should we have a new category? No, 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 no. Smoke no, of the year. No, but live, if we did, live, live on pod right now. Smoke <laughs> show. That's what's on my titties. And then, and then, just finally, so that I can like pretend that I'm better than everyone here when it comes to movies. Um, I thought Return to Saul was incredible. In terms what? of a uh, foreign film, it's that a Korean a, movie. Yeah. It's called Return okay. to Seoul. I watched it on a plane um, as I was it's returning to New York. I know. I'm oh, just okay. saying. <laughs> for me, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And in terms of uh, oh, Korean like Seoul. representation in cinema, that and past lives, I think the Koreans were up plane. this year. Yeah, dude. Shout Kim Jong Un, dude. My fucking guys are, really, dude. They 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 no, he up. banned dick riding, dude. He banned <laughs> dick riding. Yeah. Wait, Return to Seoul, like the city? Yes. Oh my god, that's fucking. Oh. Yo, All right, crazy. from the big screen to the small screen. Oh, terrible! Best year in TV. TV show of the year, Chef. What would be your pick? Uh, the Bear, easy. Thank you. Um, season two, The Bear. I, that was the only thing this year that I fucking crushed. I don't. I haven't been watching TV this year that much, Same. honestly, except for that. Oh, you've been reading which, books. Which, which, that which and the episode? Curse. Uh, which episode of The Bear? Oh. I, I mean, yeah, the uh, one the where music? the one where Taylor he's. Swift, that Swift song. Uh, I have the Shin's new slang, dude. All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah that. Right, done. That. Well, I mean, uh, Alex Russell wrote that one. Right? I know. Also, it should God, be uh, God, all my shit is getting spoiled. Oh, sorry, we're talking about forks. It should be talking heads. We're talking about forks. It should be talking heads. Not even. I was talking this about must, forks, this must dude. Be the place. Yeah, forks. Forks is crazy. A fucking song. I ride song. with. I ride with the Copenhagen episode too. Though I thought that was good. By the way, a lot of people did love. Also, Copenhagen episode directed by Rami. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to him. But, that shit uh, did make me want to go to fucking Broke, Broken Hagen. Yeah, Wait, what is it, Life During Wartime we want? Or what was it? This must be the place, Naive uh, Melody. Um, Naive Melody. This I gotta place. say, yeah, I feel like besides oh, wow. that, TV TV was <laughs> fucking <laughs> mid this year. Yeah, I was, I was mid. really, yeah, boy. I was really excited for the Party Down reboot because I loved, Ooh, was I loved Party Down, but dude, it was As my only show. My guy loves the friend. party. It was <laughs> it not was missing. Uh, Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie Kaplan. Kaplan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and dude, yeah, and I'm gamers. not gonna say she was like the goat of the of the old show because Smoke, smoking Ken, Ken Marino. Ken Marino Ken is the goat, is dude. So fucking He's funny. The, the goat of party um, down. But uh, yeah, I, I love. <laughs> what's, the, what's the other show? The family, the kid star, uh, the HBO. The uh, oh, the uh, other two, the other two, yeah, the other that, two. That yeah. was pretty good. That was uh, the yeah. final yeah. season of the other two. That's yeah. on the list. People can vote for all this stuff. Toxic yeah. show of the year, but. Oh really? Dude, that's why. Oh, that's why it ended. everybody everybody got fired. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. the showrunners oh, were really? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought. I mean, yo, shout out the it, idol, it got, dude. It, it, <laughs> got, it got canceled because the showrunners. Also, yeah, shout out, shout out the idol. The that was the best year. The, 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 the show, the show is trash, but it was hat. so fun. Friend yeah. of the show, <laughs> uh, of the show yeah. Rachel, uh, oh, fetch shit. me my idol hat, Rachel. Yeah. 
I'm a to display. Dude, I'm a freak. I know, dude. This is this is oh, the online take, but that song, Jocelyn Music Artist of the Year. That song fucking slaps. I'm still singing it all the time. Yeah, you're a fucking because I'm because I'm a fucking freak. You're a freaking freak, bro. I'm a freak. You might be baby Joker, dude. I'm a freaking freak baby. Yeah. No. Anyway, but yeah, that's TV. Yo, sexy baby of the year, Jocelyn for sure, dude. All right, you're fucking. You're uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, please. You're talking like the Green Goblin mask. Right? Yeah, hundred percent, dude. <laughs> uh, James, TV show of the year. Chef okay. Home with Bear. Uh, the bear. Succession. Yeah, sure. Uh, succession. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I forgot about that. Honorable yeah. mention: The Bear of How Show. Vanderpump Rules. Oh, sure, sure, sure. This sure, sure. was the year that Vanderpump <laughs> Rules fucking scandal. It dictated culture. <laughs> Um, it's got the fucking zeitgeist in the headline. But my number one is going to be Beef, yeah. which if you didn't watch it, Bad you're, Year for Cows, dude. You're anti Asian. <laughs> bad Year for Cows. Um, great fucking soundtrack. A lot of Incubus. Mm. Maybe that. Uh, no, it's talking heads. I, good Alex I good wish you were here. Good Alex Who? Russell episode two. Yes. The last Honestly, episode. Alex Russell, go to the year. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. Shout, shout go, go, go to it with shout the pen. AR, dude. Go, go to it with the pen. pen. <laughs> yeah, go to the pen. Uh, I do want to shout out the uh, episode in The Last of Us that was about those two old gay guys. Yeah. Um, fucking uh, Ron Bergen. What's his name? Ron, <laughs> Ron, Ron Bergen. <laughs> no, you're thinking Parks of Parks and Rec. Uh, <laughs> Trill Farrell. Yeah, no. <laughs> P- Parks and Rec guy uh, being like an old gay bear. That was fire. That was like a movie. Yeah. The bacon guy from oh, Parks and Rec. Oh, Nick Offerman. Yeah, Nick Offerman. Yeah. But I forget yeah. what his character's name is. But uh, that was a Ron very... Swanson. Ron Swanson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Ron Swanson is bacon. gay. Bacon. <laughs> Episode of the year. Um, bacon is goaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. It, all right, yo, let's... Uh, okay. But yeah, breakfast uh, sorry, of the beef, year. beef, 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 beef. Not breakfast meat of the year. The show beef. The show we're talking beef, breakfast meat. Very fucking good. And met Young Manzino in Aspen. Yo, shout out Young Manzino. I was like, yo, man, your show's fucking goaded of the year, bro. And he's like, oh, thanks. All right, moving on. Said, uh, chef? No. Robbie? Who? You? Chuck? I'll go quick. Chuck. I mean, mine's also dovetailing. I didn't watch a lot of TV this year. Mostly reality. Vanderpump, for oh. me, was like, that just like Elite. gripped the zeitgeist. Uh, I also think bro, this season- I rewatched that Scandoval episode that they, they filmed after the season ended. and they Yes. It's like, it, the way they re-edited it was <sighs> so good. The like, most compelling 11 minutes of television yeah. ever created. Like, that's what, <laughs> that's like peak reality so TV. So fuck? <laughs> about Raquel! <laughs> <So> fine. <laughs> Tom Schwartz also goat. <laughs> he Yo, is him on Winter House? Sick. This, this season of Winter House has been kind of a dud because they're focusing on, yo, Robert- you said not me. Brother, My, uh, it's not there aren't many good Roberts go in the zeitgeist, but that uh, you might be the best. Daniel's one, dude. ex, he rocks. I'm a Robert defender, dude. Um, he has a uh, fucking sandwich it, shop. It left though, it was oh, really? just it was like a, a okay. it was a thing, but yeah, was it the old scars or yeah. somewhere it's on the old Orchard. scars, which is now sushi oku? But I went the day they had his yeah, sandwich pop and it up, looks sick. Good. Get Robert on the pod, um, but yeah, the fact that this season of Winter House it seems like it focuses on Danielle, and like oh, yeah, I just no, no one really cares. No, just I agree. Free Danielle, dude. It's just no, not interesting. House? Yes, bro. It's bro. not in. The, but this season Pitch of Southern of Charm. No. This season of Bodie. Southern Charm has yeah. been good. Bodie. This Bodie. Last season of Southern good. Charm was mid, but this season has been really good. It's been I'm, so it's back, back, dude. We're so back. Southern We're Charm so is back. back. So like mine is like Southern Charm and Vanderpump. That guy, JT? Just, dude. JT. 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 Yeah. The, is, is he the dude yeah. that's he's beefing with he's uh, with he, Austin? Right. He like has such a short man complex. Really started. It's incredible. That guy's fucking short. I've been I've been tapping in when it's on when it's on like yeah yeah. I'm just like dude, this is yeah. Scotty. JT. So I'm just be a going, fucking man. I'm be just, a fucking man. I'm just going Bravo, Vanderpump, Southern Yo, Charm. Bravo, I've been my two. Bravo, Bravo, Southern Bravo, Charm, Bravo, Vanderpump are so good. Bravo's a little wobbly. Bravo's yeah. a little wobbly. Next Bravo season, back. I'm hyped for next season of Summer House because we're going to get the Carl Lindsay oh, break Carl, yes, the bro. Yo, the yeah. divorce. Yo, yeah. yeah. fucking yeah. God. Yeah. Fucking yeah. talking no, they, the already, they never got married, but they just called out the engagement. Yo, more life, Carl needs to come back. Yeah. Carl? More life. Yeah. I, yeah, I support your journey, but maybe pick up pick up a beer again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, maybe relax with a brewski, yeah. dog. You're Show the a fucking bummer. veneers and pick up a fucking uh, no. Chuck. I was just Chuck kidding. Show of the Year. Very quick, very boring. I think you should leave. It's oh the, yeah, dude! Shout out, shout out Timothy Robinson, dude. <laughs> <laughs> also, That's a banger, dude. Maybe most favorite skit. 
Uh, honestly, of, of this, I mean, obviously the ordering the uh, the the drive the drive through one is, is probably great because I feel like everyone driving crooner. I feel like was, also I was uh, driving crooner. Uh, Rob McMillan yeah, on our way did. back from Pennsylvania. I it. it was fucking it was, awesome. I, it was, beautiful. I, it was I, life I, imitating I, art. I, I passively watched Golden Bachelor, so the the Ooh. the skit and oh, I think yeah, you should yeah. leave where he's where he's like, Zip you want me to go home? Ah, yeah, like that one was line, that yeah, was yeah. Through, yeah. You're on the zip line the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um shout out yeah. Tim Robinson. <laughs> yeah. Shout out our one of our yeah. best follows quality wise, Tim Robinson. I'm we gotta eat get the on whole the pod. Thing. We have his you have his number. You have his I've number. Been texting. Yeah. We've been texting. And he has not been responding. Okay, right finally. Now. Hey man, happy birthday. I wanna <laughs> Imagine. Oh, no, uh, happy, sorry, I meant to say happy holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows, dude. No, no the pacing on your show goes crazy. <laughs> Honestly, gonna, it does. It gives me a headache. I was going to say, damn, he's early with the July 4th birthday yeah. wishes on is fucking he, dis- or late <laughs> December 10th. His birthday's July 4th? 16th. No, yours is. Oh, no, I'm texting him happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I thought you were getting a happy birthday <laughs> no, text from Tim Timothy Robinson. Tim <laughs> Robinson is not asking or wishing me a happy birthday. Um, all right, I just want to bring it back to the bear and shout out a uh, friend of the show, Alex Russell. The episode of Forks, the redemption arc of Cuz. In yeah. Richie, that uh, with the Taylor Swift needle drop, Huge. we kind of alluded Huge. to it. Uh, real Hold tears uh, of really? the emotional variety oh. multiple times. My the best episode of TV I've seen in a long time. I texted my close personal friend Alex Russell. Maybe you've heard of him. He's the goat with the pen. Um, that for me, just like the way, and I don't know why I'm drawn to a bad man getting his fucking getting his flowers, getting oh, I redemption. Why. I don't know why that fucking hits. But uh, for me, that was, uh, it could have it could have been like a standalone, like, you know, fucking one ep, and I, that would have been it for me. That really motherfucking hit, and let's move on. Yo, honestly, eps of the year should be a fucking category where it's no like, no way, dude. Forks, we have, what about, we, gay we have, Ron Swanson. We need to like, get to smoke show of the year before uh, we get the fucking episode of TV of the year. Um, All right, we're gonna pivot right to the fucking big brain when it comes to fucking tunes himself. Chef, yeah. what was your best music Artists, yeah, here. and feel free to get as deep and wide pause as yeah. you want. Strokes for sure. Uh, <laughs> deep and wide strokes, dude. <laughs> the strokes. Unfortunately, this was a this was a voids year for Julian Casablanca. Which I don't really. Was rock. this a good year in music? I don't fuck with the voids. No, it wasn't a good year in music. There was a you lot say of rock music. Good, a good year in music for rock there was, and roll. A lot of releases, and I feel like none of them really, really stuck. Like everything kind of mm. came and went. Yeah. Even like I feel like the biggest releases of the year were like SZA and that yep. like kind of, which was literally like at the but or the start, the starting yeah, gun it, of twenty twenty. It was at the, uh, it was at the beginning. I spice. I mean, like every like what's crazy what is, is that, that would spice a lot of uh, female rappers. Big a, lot, for female a, lot rappers. Of, a lot of really big. big a, lot of really, a lot of really big artists <laughs> released this year. Um, but Roger I feel Cat, like bitch. Yeah, but Pink I feel Santa's like sexy red bitch. Sexy red, red bitch. Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, fucking queen bitch. But everything, <laughs> nothing <laughs> gloves on my fingies. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing is like sticking. I guess like it's no, all, really. it's all just kind of nothing's really sticky. <laughs> so wait, so what's your pick? My pick, I don't. I right, let him let him go. Let, let him, him cook. Go. My, my <laughs> let him fucking. Cook. I don't you necessarily know <laughs> if I have like a go to the year, but I will say Come what on, I go to the year. Um, no, musical artist of the year. Musical artist of the year. Uh, I mean, a go to oh, musical Mitski? artist oh. of the year. Is it fucking Mitski? No, Mitski. <laughs> honestly, that that album was good, but I also didn't love it. Um, mm. The girlies were sad. This I year. will say, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Lana, Lana. Had a big I, year, I, I will so. ride. Ooh. I will ride for Lana Spody? again. I think that. I think that. Uh, you know. Ocean Boulevard, uh, yeah, Waffle House is hitting. Yeah. Sorry, uh, the Ocean Boulevard album was amazing. Uh, there was a lot of really good songs. That on Country it. Roads cover, um, yeah, Country Roads, the Country Country Roads cover was a smash. But I love, you know, the song with Father John Misty goes so hard. Uh, uh, let the light Father in. John Misty, yeah. I believe. Nice. No, I'm um, kidding. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, yes, <laughs> no, but I think fuck I mean, you, chef. <laughs> fuck white luxury. <laughs> no, there's some, there's some exciting. Uh, you know, oh. uh, I, I really like. <laughs> There's a smaller. There's I don't a, know. I, you guys keep saying shit. I'm like, sorry, I don't know. Sorry, sorry. Keep sorry. Welcome, sorry. welcome. welcome. Oh, first, yeah. time, first time. First time. First time on the show. We've entered the delirium <laughs> corner of the no, Great I mean, Choice Awards. I, I will. I will shout out. I will shout out the country. The country kings. Zach Bryan. The outlaws. Um, that shit. That shit was Be awesome. Man. You fuck yeah. with Hank. Uh, I don't know Williams? if I know Hank. Um, Do you fuck with Morgan? It's kind of like yeah, Morgan Wallen. I'm, I'm I'm rocking with Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallski um, saying because he because he said the word. I, I am rocking with uh, <laughs> the word. What? I, I, I with the <laughs> I do like Central C. I like the Central yeah. abomination. Uh, yeah. Man, I do like Central C. I will say the most. Uh, did you like that album with Dave? Uh, it was it was that fun. Was an EP, um, and that was, that was a fun. 
I have three yeah. more, three Sprinter? more, three, three more, three more people to shout out. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, I believe they're New York City based, but that band called Fuckers, but uh, the, it's like the C. <laughs> Freak, Freakers. I the C before the U. <laughs> Fuckers, but they make some very fun <laughs> dance music. But what I Ooh. like about them is that they have a, a live a live show where it's like it's like three of them and there's like a dude playing like like four on the floor disco drums a dude DJ like with, with the synth and then like uh, a woman presumably I don't know what I don't want to misgender okay. anybody oh, right, but right, um right, right. Yes. but uh, bitch. yeah but uh fucking you know <laughs> misgender there, of the year there, there's somebody who's who's singing but <laughs> their songs are so fun they've done some really cool remixes this Fuckers? year fuckers do you think um, the dare should be on this list uh for this year yeah. yes um, I think Bro. you should because I think that they I absolutely, absolutely yeah, up on this. Because I, I think absolutely think I absolutely EP, agree because the EP is good. It is good. I'm gonna say it's good. I like the girls that do. I mean, it's Hugs. also his first EP. EP. Yeah, and it's, it's also just it's also an EP. just an EP. It's yeah, I know. Like, EP. The record's coming next year and it's gonna be yeah, crazy. I agree. But uh, fucking, I think we have the here. Nah, but I think the absolutely. song. I love I fucking dude, the song. Sex goes so hard. Well, yeah, yeah. good time. Good time goes hard. Good time. Good time goes so hard. Yeah, the fact that you got canceled also for the album cover, which is. Oh, oh yeah, that was fucking sick. awesome. No, yeah. I think no nah, the dare the dare for Maddie sure. Creep. I'm gonna stand by it. I feel like somebody asked me if I stood by my go to the year tape yeah, last year. Yeah, I did year, last and year. And I, yeah, I, mean, I, no, I agree with you, Sean. You were the first on this. I agree with Sean. I'm like, I, I'm, st- I'm sticking by it. But uh, but also I will shout out. I think the real the real go to the year this year. Harrison, uh, uh, Billy Woods. I don't know if you guys, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you have but, no mic, brother. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, dude. <laughs> the song with Danny Brown is sick. The song with Danny Brown. I mean, like, yeah, the Billy Woods. So he's a part of Arm and Hammer, like a rap crew, yep. a rap duo, but uh, fucking. Oh, Arm and Hammer. But he also. But he yeah. also <laughs> Backwood Studios. Uh, okay. I think that's what. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, no, they had, they had an album this year called we, we Buy Diabetic Test mm-hmm. Strips. That was fucking awesome. But mm-hmm. Billy Woods also had this album called Maps with its producer called Kenny Segal mm-hmm. earlier this year. They I'm going to shout out. I'm going to shout out my friends Riley. Riley and Isaiah who put me onto this, but like fucking that album is so good. Uh, this dude, he's New York based too, and he's fucking awesome. And I think that Man, Billy Woods, Billy Woods made the most interesting music like of this I year for you. sure. Um, and I will shout out the the Paris Texas guys too. Oh yeah, sure. Um, okay, shout them out. Who I think the music? How many of them are there? Uh, there's two, two of them. Okay. Uh, the music, the music, Ooh, eh? the music is really good. But I think that they are poised to be like fucking yes, like stars in in hip hop. They're the brand that they're building. Shout out. Fucking Orienteer. They're the dare of Texas. my homie, my homie Kevin Corden. Shout out Nick. Um, who? Yeah, shout out Nick. Uh, no, I think that their Paris Texas is on to something fucking huge, and I, I'm go. really excited Let's to see go. where their career goes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let me let me just um, thank you, Chef. That was beautiful, and sorry for interrupting you incessantly trying to yeah. get fucking bars off. Trying to be no funny, worries, cool. no worries. Yeah. but also, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, okay, so <laughs> fucking no, freaking no, no last freaking one, last one, yeah, 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 one more, yeah, one more, most, most fun. I mean, Andre three thousand. Uh, yeah, you liked it. I loved it. I thought yeah. I thought I actually <laughs> it's announced he doesn't play. The album was actually very good and I just love yeah, everybody that's involved with it too. I thought it was fucking sick. That was a fun one. Yeah. Who was involved? Southern with Fried it? Crooner, dude. Um, freaking. <laughs> bro, stop. Fucking <laughs> Bowie Armstrong. Stop, dude, like... what's wrong with you, bro? No, I've always I, I, done this. It's, That's it, sick. Dude, if I was your girlfriend, I would murder you in your sleep. Dude. No, you she's, bring, like, the... she's a bigger head than I am. A honestly. freaking head? She's a no, bigger freaking head. She's a no, freaking. I mean, literally yeah. saying freaking. No, she's she's got better taste in music than me. She's she's the good. Let's have her on the podcast. She's the good of all time. I I think that girlfriend of the year. She'd be girlfriend of the year. She'd be funnier. She'd be funnier on this show than I am. Girlfriend of all time. Gafodi. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to just hop in because I'm not like a music guy. Yeah. I'm a boomer. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's Olivia Rodrigo. That's the fucking that sh- album rocks. That al- Guts is fucking so good. smacking. So outside of that, a body of work, just some some tunes that I liked. Yeah. The the Sench and Drake on the radar freestyle podcast deluxe had the best song of the summer. Combination. Also loved the Drake track Away from Home, even though for all the dogs was garbage. I loved Joey. Code I would buy, fucking smacker. Listen if you haven't. And then He's naming um, songs. What's up? You're naming songs. Yeah, well, because okay. that's because I'm more of a, a singles so, guy. Yeah, and then I loved uh, Uzi and Nikki, Endless Fashion. I thought mm. it was a smack off the pink tape, even though that was a. You like the Uzi album? No, I was uh, going to say, yeah. it was a forgettable project, but Endless Fashion, the I'm Blue sample was a fucking. Was I'm a, blue. I'm a blue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've. Yeah, what? no, same thing. No, go, just fine. This is your talk. Time. My song of the year. <gasps> T- TF, TF alum, Zach Fox, 
Dummy. Oh, that song, yeah. that song. That song goes so hard. It's not. It's not the best song of the year, but that's that's the track of the year. I gotta say that song yeah. fucking rules. Okay, I think that should be out for music. Shams number one. Oh, and then also real quick, uh, and then I'll kick it over. Um, I know Yachty had a had a good year. I don't really like the the psychedelic rock Let's album go yachting. that that, that James <laughs> We're going and I yachting. went to uh, the Liberty Science Fair for the debut of. Uh, We're going yachting. No one mentioned Yachty in Most Style Celeb, and Yachty had a very fucking good year when it came to fits. And I just want to give flowers to Boat. That's all. Yeah. All right, James. Song. Uh, not song of the year. What are we doing? What is this? Musical, musical artist, artist of the year. I did album. You did album. Uh, I I went by albums. Um. Personally. I love. I'm loving Nicki Minaj's press run, where she's just like the su- she's yeah. the supreme bitch. She's like, "Honey, <laughs> what are you doing?" The train, y- y- Samantha, easy. Samantha the Jones, train has fucking- left honey, the station, <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, what are you doing? I'm your mother. Uh, oh, yo, Katrina! Katrina, that, that was the album. That was Sound of the Summer. Honestly, front to back, um, shout out Katrina. Donna, song of the year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you mean. <laughs> Fuck you mean. How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You I had say, you dying in the, on yeah. that Clark's photo shoot. Yeah, that was. You kept, yeah. You kept saying, yeah. Uh, but for me, it's Zach yeah. Bryan. I'm going to go with Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Shout Outlaw. Out, shout out the whites. Uh, who's left? Anyone? Robbie? Robbie? Uh, Roberto? Uh, oh, 1975. 1979. No. Charlie. 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 Is on the, one of the only musicians on Go to the Year, I think. Uh, she had a fu- she ascended, she transcended, yeah, she ascended, Sean, ascend Sean, transcend Sean. Um, she's definitely up there. My most listened to album is a very 1975 adjacent uh sound, The Japanese House. I don't know if anyone listened the to it. Yeah. In the, the end, it the always fuck? does. Do you, call yeah. you fucking call me. <laughs> That was like Sunshine, most, Sunshine yeah. Baby. That song, Yo, that song goes the cha- so the Chinese hard. Chinese by Matty Healy. Yeah. 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 Who's more of a fucking... It sounds, it sounds like a 1975 yes, song. It's very Who's got bigger Jason. yellow fever, Robbie or Sean? That was... It, <laughs> it's a British singer-songwriter. We don't know how to say Japanese house. The fuck? Um, that was my most listened to album, but also I feel like Chuck will back me up on this. DJ Sabrina, the teenage DJ, oh. she released oh. like a two-hour <laughs> <laughs> album that was like... I'm I'm a I'm a like what a lecture. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I'm DJ so Sabrina, old, the teenage yeah. DJ. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Okay, Sabrina, the, the teenage, teenage DJ. DJ. Uh, she that's, released that's a fire. really long album. Uh, How long? But like Drake, I like Drake like length? hours. Hours. I like electro pop music, and it's the first thing since like peak PC music hyper pop that I feel like from two days ago or whatever. Mm. Do we what? Did dude, you go to get Hundred Gex Hollywood Baby, one of the songs of the year. That, Come on, yeah. for sure. We are in the crib also, going crazy. I gotta say, I gotta say, concert. That, that was, was very yo, fun. That was, that was so fun. That was, that's definitely a top three, top three show of the year yeah, for me. That was, that was so fun. Sick. That was so fun. Out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That was so fun. Nah, that was that was that I tried was to buy them all night. merch, and they're like, "No, nah, we're good." That was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, like dad wants to give you a treat. Dude, I'm like, buy some merch. Like, that was so fun. Dad, the mis- merch the mis- is gay. The misprinted Apple, the misprinted yeah. Apple merch that they made was fucking awesome. Yeah, um, freaking awesome. But DJ Sabrina, the teenage DJ, that album's awesome. Really, like, has a defined aesthetic in like the yeah, electro pop crossover albums. that I love, and I know Chuck loves it too. So that's the only co sign I need in, in music. Yeah, Woo. all right. Feel kind nice. of dumb for forgetting. Little that. tiny Hollywood baby, I, go. I go crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can love go, that song. I can, I can go so quick, good, dude. Fuck. Top three albums of the year. This is not a drill. Ooh, Ganger, Ganger, yeah. Yeah. V's, V's, V's. I Your to favorite that rapper a lot. <laughs> since I learned it yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> heaven, heaven knows. Ganger, Pink Panthers. Mm. Oh sure, she's yeah. on the list. It was, list. it was a good album. Boys for sure. a liar. Probably, probably zero surprise, but uh, Voir Dear, Earl and Alchemist. Oh sure, yeah. Was my yeah. Album did we year. put them on or did we say? I think Earl's on. 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 It goes Bozo Goat, but let's Bozo's the best, so we'll end on Bozo. So let's okay. just pivot real quick. To let's goat? do Goat of the Year. Can um, I go first? Yes. yes. I have to go pee so bad. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, it's a two-way tie. That's okay. I mean, that's cheating. And last year, people told me I was crazy. On um, People here told me I was crazy. For, you in the for saying crazy. This, Ice Spice and Pink Panthers. Wow. Boys it's a liar. two-way tie for Pink Panthers. Okay. Song of the year, yeah. Goat of the year. True. Well, uh, how does Pink Panthers go to the year beyond just the well, music? He has to go pee, so okay, it doesn't go matter. Pee, go oh, pee, go oh, pee, go she, she had a very goat in Nardwar. 
Oh, okay. damn, a go to the year. Doot, doot, doot. Um, Robbie, who's I'll go. go to the year? Um, my go to the year is Gurum. Gurum. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, hardest, you, the, the hardest bar was praying for my brother's soul in the Instagram <laughs> caption. Yeah, that yeah. was bar of the year for that me. That was sick, dude. That, he thought that he was Instagram fucking Shay for a second. was sick. The, Vetmont is so ass, and I don't, it's, I don't co-sign any of those He's a delusional but psycho. He, he's the guy. And he rocks. He's like, yeah. like Philip Pine is trying to be Gurum now. This is like, my doppelganger. Gurum. Shout out my guy. Gurum rocks. Shout my guy. Praying for my brother's soul. Like, that was that was. The hardest Fire. bar in fashion. Also, Vetmon has kind of m- not jumped over the jump man, but like they're poised to. Nah, yeah. He is poised but to also if be Dem- the number if, one brother. If Demna gets booted, like I would like him to, out of Balenciaga for Martine Rose, maybe I don't know. Oh, he comes in and works for Gurum, but like maybe they'll no rekindle because like he needs a gig. They they rekindle. Yeah. You know, Gurum is the number one boy. The number one Vasalia. Yeah, he, the no, no, he's, he's not, shit. and he wants. He's literally Kendall Roy. He wants to be exactly. He but he's but he is. But he is. But he is. But he is. So but he is. entertaining. He, he rocks. Yes. He's my go of the year. I yeah. mean, that Instagram caption go was just IG incredible. Yeah, go if you're not IG following on IG right now, you are you are fucking up for my brother's soul. Um, that was that was uh, hard. Chef, who's your go of the year? I got to tap into Gurum. I, I oh, dude, he's it's incredible, unhinged, but dude, my my goat, my goat's got to be Marty. Yeah, I, I think dude, with his TikTok with his daughter, yeah. with his Those TikToks with sure. his daughter making an incredible film. But also, dude, this MF he's gonna de- he's gonna die soon. He's gonna die, but he's, he's still but he's still like don't give that man a Panera charged lemonade. No, no but he's but he's he's go to the so year. go to the year <laughs> yeah. Panera bread for no, yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on here. Charged lemonade, Panera charged lemonade is on. Go to the beverage specifically. That's a buzzer. This man is so self-aware this man is so just like you know like tapped into what's what's going on and what he's people a need ball too yeah, he's yeah. cameo he's fucking, entourage remember he had a yeah, cameo yeah, entourage man. where he calls Marty, up yeah. and he's like i want you to be in the game it's, yeah. it's Marty scorsese uh no man yeah i think i think that he's truly the go to the year and i'm like you know he's gonna he's gonna make more movies he's go to team but i i truly i truly think that at this at this age to have had the career that he's had and to have made the shit that he's made and then to still be con- like making, you know, the best and he's still doing you know, it, like doing better than, you know, people that are that yeah. are just coming up right now. That's fucking crazy. I think that anybody in any field should should aspire to have a career oh, like, dude, like, what a like they, they would They would um, be lucky to have yeah. like an eighth of an eighth of fucking 16th yeah. of no, what he's, Marty, Marty, Marty's the fucking ghost. He's killing uh, it on TikTok too. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. So that, Did no. you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you're you're uh, peeing. But anyway, yeah, so so Marty, Marty's, well, that. Marty's my go to the year for sure. Um, <laughs> James, do you have a go to the year? And then uh, can, yeah, I got a fact I can go to the year. Um, okay, the obvious ones, George San- Santos, Hunter Biden. Absolutely. I Get the bag. Finally, some honest politicians or politician adjacent individuals. Do you guys remember? And okay, <laughs> that we, sounded very sincere. Announcement: we, we are unveiling a new category for next year's whoa, fitties whoa, smoke whoa, show whoa, of the year. No, well, not that <laughs> Smody, but also uh, <laughs> the uh, Smoke Show. <laughs> the the Smoke Show. Um, we are calling it the. We could, uh, put, we could put Dick on there too. We could. It oh, could that's be, my, no, no, no. It's uh. Wait, what? No, I'm saying if we do smoke oh. of the year, it could we could put yeah, Dodie. like Alordi. Alordi is on my he, smoke of the year. She's sure. and days. It could be yeah. everyone. Bad bun. But next year we're doing Troy, 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 Troy Savon. God damn. Next year we're doing best timeline Twink. takeover. King. Next year we'll include best timeline takeover, and I want to shout out the Alabama Riverboat Brawl Squadron, yeah, yeah. where that was like Innocent. the they had fuck, hands. the fucking yeah. best moment, where it's just like. Everything about it, front to back. There's no flaws. <laughs> Flawless. Like old school world star. Like it felt like old yeah. school world star. Like a, like a time time capsule sick. from a, a bygone exactly. era. Bro, fucking internet. unk with the chair. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. So Alabama Riverboat Brawl Squad. Um, but I think that my go to the year is the guy who stabbed Derek Chauvin, the police yeah. officer who killed George Floyd. Uh, the guy who stabbed Derek Chauvin 22 times in prison. Both tastes of his own medicine. Who's a Salute. Mexican gangster turned FBI informant turned double agent that went to jail for like manslaughter. Wow. Yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> dude, and yo, shout it. out all the soldados, dude. My go, my go, my go to the years is, is Sicario. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's George Santos. I think it's fucking obvious. The first honest politician. Oh, Shohei, Shohei Otani also good. Yeah, yeah, yeah big on. money. Yo, wait, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. Big money. But, okay, Shohei Otani. Big money. Him Showtime. deferring his salary and just giving Todd yeah. Bowley of the Dodgers a, a half billion dollar zero interest loan. I think yeah. he should be on Bozo of the Year, to be honest. Whoa, hey, man. That's whoa, insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, man. Yo, corporations are people, too. Uh, my guy, my guy just wants to win. My guy just wants to win. Yeah. Sorry if you don't insane. understand that fucking I, mindset, Robbie. He need, But, like, he should. No, the, him deferring his salary. No, it's a big. Yo, the Japanese are all about respect. 
respect, bro. Yeah, you wouldn't big, know that. It's a big bet. It's a big bet the Japanese on the, house. Also, on it's the within the rules. Yeah. It's, with, it's totally no, fucking it's, kosher. Like your Chinese no, slippers so are cutting people. off circulation to your brain. No, 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 no. It's, it's that's about respect in the Japanese house. No. <laughs> he should just. What? No, that's gonna. <laughs> no, that's fucked up. Hi, hi, hi. You can see My bad. I know I'm not gonna win this fight, but I don't know. I think contract. No, from if we're thinking selfishly, if we're thinking selfishly, I think that's some financial big brain big brain I, shit pen, 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 um, pen, it's gonna be worth less in no. 10 years than it is now not as no. with Biden inflation with Hunter Biden Multiple gonna be our next fucking president cause he's go to the giving year your, uh, giving your employer that's like tipping on rent is like what he did he tipped bro. on rent that's it's crazy can the Dodgers like default on that loan they're like sorry bro we're fucking broke I mean like, they're not going to but it's just crazy being like yeah pay me like down the line I, when it let me just bro like, imagine how good that's gonna feel when he Puts in ten years and comes in and cashes six hundred million dollars. He's just check. he's just trying to break even right now. Like the two mil that he's gonna get every every year for the first ten is like I'm gonna pay my agents. I'm gonna pay my my team. Okay. As the as the because the endorsement deals are gonna be even bigger than two mil. It, exactly. Like he's gonna make money Weedies. off that shit. But like uh, yeah. Wheaties, nah. um, freaky Wheaties. What's Wheaties? What's Wheaties in Japan? Wheaties. <laughs> we do. Oh my god! Jesus As Christ. the pilot, I wanted to I wanted to land this pod in at under two hours. So I just uh, I, so I, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I just want to say, yo, Bex had a goaded year, dude. Oh, Let's not forget yeah. about fucking Bex. Honestly, the Beckham doc maybe TV so show of the year. Fired. I want to shout out yes. cultural shifter, high key. Yeah, and then. T Swizzle invented football. Oh, I mean, that's, let's give let's give shut some fuck up. Give some credit, credit, credit is due. Um, okay, now Taylor? now for the big finale, the grand mm. finale. Mm. What the biggest bozo of the year? Oh yeah, everyone's fucking favorite category. We have a fucking stacked roster <laughs> of clowns, jesters, and fucking the circus is a crazy ass losers. Chef, who is your bozo of the year? Dude, I'm seeing. <laughs> A lot, a lot of freaking bozos. Bozos. I'm seeing a lot of freaking <laughs> bozos. Bar, Mc, Bar Mc Bailey in the building. I'm going to say, number one, Drake posting that pickleball photo. Oh, trash. You Wait, were, is that even on the list? Okay. I, well, pickleball. Pickleball's, pickleball's, on pickleball's on the list. Pickleball's on the list. I love you. I love you, Drake. Why did you have to do this, Why are you man? insulting Lawrence's best oh, friend? Oh, my God. I forgot that no, Jonah Hill is on that the list. That shit was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill deserves it. But his girlfriend also, or ex girlfriend, kind of deserves it. No, she she does too. Maybe But in any case, no, but I think I think the biggest one for me, honestly, straight up. Cody, kind of the year. Elon Elon Musk is is, oh. is an idiot. Oh, yeah, like yeah. this dude. <laughs> this dude. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a funny answer picker. But honestly, no, I just Twitter's kind of fire now because I, I just Twitter, get like porn now. Twitter fucking, <laughs> Twitter, fucking, <laughs> Twitter, fucking, <laughs> Twitter fucking rules now. But I just think I that just like, like you don't get porn. enough porn on Reddit. <laughs> he could have pivoted from Reddit to Twitter. <laughs> I think that he no, but he's just fucking. You're not following the right e girls, bro. No, he's deluded. He's deluded and tarnished his personal brand so much. Oh, we're he like, sucks. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Where I'm also, like, dude, Tesla just had to recall like a million cars. A million? Yeah, a million Cybertrucks. Fucking that's, idiot. You know, Cybertruck slaps though. That's like I'm some. That's, one, that's, that's, uh, that's some. Your that's some. Like, that's some headline. You can't that's, drive. Some, that's some headline jujitsu. I feel like for the recall <laughs> shit. It's just nah. They just they just they just sent out. Oh, are you wearing fucking Chinese slippers from La Mer or something? No, <laughs> uh, fuck off. Do they practice uh, uh, headline jujitsu in the Japanese house? No. Nah. <laughs> Robbie, in the, do- in the dojo, Robbie's answers. Hi, yeah. Hi, 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 I know hi, you're getting. Right yeah, I'm like, in, what the fuck in the dojo? No, no, no. Shout out all the mutant ninja it was, turtles. It dude. was a software update that they sent otherwise. out. They're not recalling the cars. That okay. was that was false. That was a software uh, thing. Right. But no, but I just think of this guy. I'm like, dude, you actually he bricked, he bricked the whole he, year. He bricked, and he's made he's made some crazy useful things for a lot of people. You know. No, um, you know, fucking Starlink for the Ukraine. Uh, we've yeah, all, Starlink, Starlink kind of yeah. slapped on Costner, on Star- Costner's Costner's yeah. ranch. And yeah. when I we say Starlink, it was good. And when I say that, dude, freaking, <laughs> uh, like, like, let's go all the way back to fucking PayPal. You know what I mean? Whoa. Um, but uh, oh, the what, the thing that he bought yeah. into? No, he was he was like one of the, he was fucking e- like Multiple PayPal, okay, PayPal right. mafia. Um, but uh, but in he any case, no, no. But now I feel like I feel like legitimately like smart and influential people don't take him seriously anymore because he just doesn't know how to like. Yeah. Yeah, behave. just fucking incels. Um, fucking idiot, so man. fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, Kanye West's last tweet, just shirtless Elon on the fucking Yo, yacht, also looking pop- like a doughy ass fatty. Apologies to Ye that we couldn't uh, get you in on a musical artist of the year, but Vultures has been uh, pivoted to a midnight release. He honestly might be. Opinions, dude. He honestly, <laughs> Ye might have to join Biggest Bows of the Year to the Timber. Oh, uh, honestly, um, yeah, he might because that was that rant was yike, big yikes. Yeah. Buzz of the year last year was Robbie was wondering. Uh, he has I a don't microphone. know. Who won Buzz of the year last year? Joe Biden? <laughs> I don't know. Sleepy Joe? No. Was it Elon? It might have been Elon. It might have been Elon. It might have been Elon. Or was it Elon uh, last year too? Or, Ma- or uh, Zuck for Meta? But 
also might have been yeah. I feel like yeah was on it last year. I mean, they're all you're just naming bozos now, so it's like you know. Here, let me mm-hmm. fucking bozos choice, dude. I, I, Everybody sucks. I can go real quick. Mine is definitely the submarine. As soon as it came out, oh, that the they were, submersibles. As Incredible. soon as it came out that they were controlling that shit with the PlayStation Two controller, yeah. I was like, this rocks. Like Absolutely everything about incredible. it. Billionaires going Dreamcast, to the Titanic like and dying. Nightmare cast, you feel me? Those are my bozos of the year. That rocks. They they <laughs> do, died. Yo, doing do you what follow they the uh, the billionaire stepson on Twitter where he's just. Oh Super yeah! Billionaire, by the way, you said you have some when he was thirsting for the Lincoln Park uh, tickets or whatever. Oh, no, when he played Blink, 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 Blink yo, go to the year, exactly, dude. He yeah. was yo, honestly, no, he, he now live will, music, live music can really help in times yeah, of you know yeah. dire emotional straits. You know, Amen. he will now like h- tweet like hard n words, being like, "Yo, like I need a fucking fat." bleep to like sit on my face what? yeah like he's out here fucking acting real crazy damn dude well inclusive sexual policy yeah everyone deals with trauma differently um, it's true all right uh bozo of the year last year let me drum just roll real quick roll? oh oh this is boring oh. q slash insurrectionist slash anti-vaxxers yo we we set that up because we just put that's a three-headed fucking bozo but it's all one. <laughs> uh, oh, and, oh, and then kyle okay kyle rittenhouse was in second place with 12.2 percent wait this is last year and then nft bros were in third place with 10.9 percent last year <laughs> travis yeah. scott 8.2 because he oh, had the concert the where he Astro killed world. people yeah yeah the manslaughters what yeah. the fuck man yeah yo it's funny it's yo, funny is that, how they is forget. that GQ's only man of the year that has murdered 10 people more like Think gentleman's yopperly dude yeah yeah. Uh, James, who's your bozo? My bozo of the year. Let me just fuck. All right, Chuck, do you have a bozo of the year? Uh, I, well, since no one has said it, the guy going down, the, the cop going down the slide. The was Boston so cop? Bro. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Fuck that guy. I, I know one guy police. didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the police. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That was another like best town. Best- <laughs> That's a viral moment. Yeah. Who slide we take? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, yeah. we're gonna go down the slide, <laughs> and some people are gonna get hurt. <laughs> some people are gonna get burned. <laughs> some people are gonna get body. <laughs> Who slide we take? There's gonna be memes. <laughs> oh, I need to know. Who slide we take? Who slide we take? <laughs> you can never ask me. You can never fucking show this video to me again. Who slide we take? Uh, too bad we don't actually have a title for this episode because who slide we take? would be uh, great. Too. My pick for Bozo of the Year. Obviously, fucking the Kiss God, Henry Kissinger. Can we just get a Rest resounding in Rest fucking in peace, you dead bitch. Um, yeah, I think Kissinger. it's got... Oh, Damn, that was the Boston Cop for sure. <coughs> sorry, sorry. I don't mean to like no, no, step on your shit. No, uh, no, it's got to be Tom Sandoval for me. And it's not Tom Sandoval Wait, and, and Raquel. Rachel? It's not Raquel because Tom Sandoval was like gaslighting and manipulating and like, controlling her man like man crazy. And so I really think it's him, not so her. I think she's kind of a victim in all this. Um, not as much as like Ariana or Schwartzy or like all the fucking homies, but Tom Sandoval bows over the fucking year. Yeah. Uh, call Good me Lord. Sam Bankman the way I'm fucking fried, dude. Um, no, I think, uh, and yo, fuck Matt Reif. He's on here. Uh, I was, yeah, I was going to go with Kiss. Um, the big RIP dead bitch. I mean, Eric yeah. Adams too. Oh, Eric here, Adams. Sure. Whoa, yo, where's that indictment at, bro? Where's the indictment? Uh, oh, can I say that? Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully soon. That was going to be his birthday gift. Is Eric Adams was supposed to be indicted? Bro. Yeah, it was on your supposed birthday? to happen. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was. Uh, uh, I was told. Um, oh, sorry. Who else are we missing here? Uh, Tabby Thief. Oh, here's someone that I actually disagree with that we put on Bozo that to me, we talked about the Hunter Biden paradox the other week on the boys only the razor thin line. Yo, Ruigi earned my respect with the scamming. I fuck with him more like he's more goaded versus being a bozo because of the the scam scamming so i don't know i feel like we, we should have maybe we should maybe have grift of the year or grifter of the year bro, as a category adding crazy we got fucking we timeline got takeover S- grifter of the year smody we got timeline takeover we got, we got bodie grifter of the year <laughs> brody <laughs> we got grody, grody bodie. we got bodie um, we got smody chef why don't you get back in here for the big outro um Thank you guys for a wonderful year uh, making the only podcast that matters matter. We appreciate your support. We appreciate, we appreciate your patronage. Uh, even if you're listening to this free on YouTube, fucking like and subscribe. My boy Chuckles put in the work to get that Ooh. fucking TL motherfucking Sheesh. right. What is it called? Uh, your feed. Your feed? Was it called a feed on YouTube? Uh, shorts. Getting that. <laughs> getting, shorts. The, getting the yeah. Getting the feed right with the shouts and unlocking the shouties uh, and unlocking <laughs> guest videos. Um, awesome TikTok. Love you guys. Great, awesome great fucking year. 
Uh, Let's get ready to 20K before the end of the year. Get that uh, badge in there. Uh, fucking, yeah, get, get the badge in. Get, let the badge talk like the Green Goblin mask. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, and that's, I see that. That's get a, me that's, in, is that a green. Is that, is that a green border? Is that a green border? Yes. Yeah, of course it is. Get me in the fucking I video, Robbie. No, what the, <laughs> that's not what the Green Goblin sounds like, get, does he? Get me in, Robbie. That's Daniel Plainview, low key. Get me in, Robbie. That's more Sorry. Bane. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've abandoned my badge. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so that's uh, that's the Critics' Choice Award. What a trash <laughs> fucking year in general, just culturally speaking. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> motherfuckers just listen for two hours and you're about to just call it all trash. Honestly, throwing fits both goat and bozo of the year. Let's be fucking <laughs> yo, no, freaking stop, real, dude. freaking real spit like fucking Pody, dude. <laughs> what Pody? Pod of the year. Pod of the Pody. Pody. Wow. I'm, trying to go pod, I'm trying to go potty right now with my pee pee. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go get dinner and get mother fucking freaking fucked up. <laughs> freaking we're gonna get freaked up. Dude. We're gonna get freaked up. Freaking uh, any last words? We're freaking. Yeah, I want to hear the drums. What do you guys? How's, how's, how's your year? How's your year personally speaking? I just shut it off right now. <laughs> my year is great. I feel like I have a real job now, so that's fun. Mm, and uh, yeah, thank you. I would I would not be here if it were not for throwing fits. Pulled Who? me pulled me out of the tr- the trough. Job and like, and like, and like, it it Call me Bezos. Sense. It's been a good year for me. Thank you guys. My year's been thank you, thank you, Robbie. My year's been fucking great. Yeah, uh, added another cat. He's oh. super fucking sick. Pray Family's growing. Him, please, God. oh, he's like sick, like yeah, ill, not like, but not like ill. Like he's like. He's down bad. My yeah, man he's, he, he's gonna be up soon. He uh, yeah. has some bugs in his intestines. What's <laughs> yeah, going on? Yeah, okay, yeah. yo, pray for the goat. Chef, yeah. shout out Chuck. Your cat is sick. An <laughs> incredible, an incredible year on this on this side, dude. Hell yeah! Brother. I fell in love. I Woo! took a, I took oh a sabbatical. God. Sheesh! I quit my job. God damn! Um, Japan. Yeah. And, and I got to travel. Yeah, Not no, the no, Google. You became a fucking um, Japanophile. <laughs> I'm a Japanophile. Call me David W. David Marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out W. David Marks. Yo, shout out thing, David, but you can't, be the, you can't be the last name drop uh, on the show. Shout out Matty Healy. <laughs> <laughs> In the 1979. Dua Lipa. Uh, shout out Dua Lipa. Smody. <laughs> okay, end it right there. Bye. All right, love you guys.